why is this video so hot? Yeah! Ah! I'm fine. Jazz hands. I have a very strong feeling that I'm gonna regret this video idea. Hi everybody, it's Lucy and welcome back to the bedroom. Welcome to the boudoir. I know how much we all love a good wardrobe to clutter, a good closet clear out, and I did one a couple months ago. And you know, after doing them, I'm always like, that was good. Like we all, good job team. We did something good and we, we did. It's not like we didn't do a good job, we did. And a lot of the time in those videos, what I don't do is I don't really try things on. And what that means is when it eventually comes time for me to, you know, clothe myself, get dressed and go out into the big wide world. When I try certain items on that I didn't declutter because I like the idea of it, the practicality of it, like on me, I'm like, oh, I think I made an error. So what we're gonna do today is the start of a little series we're gonna be doing where I'm gonna try on all of the items in my wardrobe of that category. So we're gonna start with tops. I'm gonna open up my little wardrobe. Don't mind the top section, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. I keep my like little hats up here to protect my little noggin. I'm just limbering up here. I've got my hair in like a ponytail, like I'm feeling active and agile, ready to wiggle my little flesh vessel into different garments. All right, get yourself a snack and a drink. I've got two drinks, okay? I've got a water bottle and a matcha, so it's pretty, pretty serious. First up, we have the top I'm wearing now, okay? It's a little cropped, little graphic t-shirt of Bambi. A little note on graphic tees because we're about to see a couple. I have a very much over-reliance on graphic t-shirts because I know like the formula of like a little cropped graphic t-shirt with like, you know, some denim on the bottom. Like I know it's like a safe combo slash silhouette. Like I feel confident in styling it because it is very classic and casual and easy. I always feel like comfortable in these looks but I don't feel like my best, if that makes sense. But when I think about like, you know, my favorite outfits I've worn, this isn't ever it. I still really like this as like a day to day. Like I'm just kind of chilling around at home kind of vibe. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having like comfort, easy items. But anyway, I have already decluttered some of my little white graphic t-shirts. So maybe if I didn't have like six of basically the exact same shirt with slightly different cute graphics, then I wouldn't have six to wear in a week. <laughs> so Bambi's Bambi stain. Next up, we have this little singlet tank top. I picked this up in Korea. This is mainly a layering piece, so I haven't been wearing it much because it's been pretty chilly. There's a lot to like about this, okay? We've got like the wide straps so I can wear a bra under it. It's got a little bit of stretch in it, so it kind of like hugs the body nicely. I like the U kind of shaped scoop neck. I'm very picky with sleeveless tops and I just like the way this one looks. So I'm definitely keeping this. And because this was kind of like a unicorn tank top for me to find, I did also get it in the baby blue. Same tank top in blue. This is kind of giving Lara Croft vibes. Like not really, I don't really know exactly what color Lara Croft's tank top is like, but whenever I see anyone wearing a tank top that's like blue, gray, greeny kind of color, I'm like, wow, so Lara Croft vibes. Show off my huge guns. <laughs> I like how these fit, they're very basic, not a lot to say, moving on. Okay, so this top, you're technically not meant to wear it with a bra, but like, at least this way I can show the top to you properly. So if it looks a little wonky, that's why, but I think you can kind of see the vibe. And I've also definitely done this wonky, but th that's the vibe. But as Afa mentioned, a lot of the little white tops I had were kind of of the t-shirt family tree variety. So I've been on the hunt to kind of diversify my little white top options. You know, some different sleeves, some different necklines, some different levels of formality. So this is one of the little white tops. This is from a brand called My Mum Made It. I'll admit, I haven't actually worn this out yet because it's a little like, you know, a little like sexy. I don't know, it's just like a little something different, but I do like how it looks on. I just haven't, I just haven't worn it out yet. There hasn't been an occasion where I'm like, this is the time, but I feel like there will be or I just need to be more confident in that the occasion can just be an everyday vibe. Obsessed with this, just need to empower myself. Come on, Gromit, you can do it. This little pink crop top with like the ditzy flower print on it. I think this is very like rom-com core. I really like this. This is a keep. This bipolar I have worn so much. Uh, so much that it's like now torn. Like you can kind of see this bit's connected, this bit not so much, but I think it's time to say goodbye, which is maybe a bold statement for some of you who have been watching for a while and probably have seen this top in action a lot. There are a lot of elements to why I like this, uh, but I don't think, I don't think it's actually like the best top for me. It's good. It's safe. I feel like safe in it, but I don't think it makes me feel like amazing. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of giving like middle school boyfriend vibes. I say that like I had a middle school boyfriend. I, I didn't. But you know, like it's like fun for the time and then you kind of look back and you're like, that was really sweet and like served its purpose, but like we're moving on. I'm trying to find a good way to articulate this. It's kind of like having a favorite food that you're like, this is so good and every single day, like a breakfast food. And every single day you wake up and you're like, I'm so excited to eat breakfast because it's like my favorite thing. And then like one morning you wake up and you eat it and you're like, yeah, this doesn't hit 
as like I don't I don't want to anymore and it, I kind of feel that way about this top I really hit for a long time and then just one day I was like this isn't I don't know let me know in the comments if I'm being like Delulu and this is like a definite keep <laughs> which by the way in the bye bye pile I will separate it into like textile recycling donations and selling on Depop and if you want to check out my Depop the link is in the description so there you are take your last look Say goodbye. This is the other white crop top, literally the same as the one that we started the video with. Like I said, I did have a few more, but the, it's just these two for white graphic crop tops, I think. Maybe there are some others that I'm forgetting, we'll see. And for a vice, I think just a couple is not bad. And I, I think this is cute. I like the Powerpuff Girls a lot. I don't wear these ones like out as much anymore as I do kind of just like chilling at home. Anyway, I'll say this is my Powerpuff Girls t-shirt and it's staying. <laughs> okay, you know how I just said I don't have any other graphic t-shirts? I said white graphic t-shirts, I think, I'm pretty sure. This is grey, so it's different. If you saw my video showing what I bought in Korea, this is the top from that video. It is from Kirsch. They do a whole bunch of really cute little graphic tees and other stuff as well. But this has blue cherries and I don't know if you can see, there's little diamantes on it. So yes, technically still a graphic t-shirt, but I really like the fit of it. A little bit of a different vibe to like the white boxier crop. It's more of a form fitted, slightly longer crop. But yeah, this one is a little bit more funky, a little bit more fashion-y perhaps than like a cutesy like cartoon graphic on a t-shirt. It's still a cartoony graphic on a shirt, but you know what I mean? The energy is like slightly different. Okay, last graphic t-shirt for realsies. This one is from Realization Pa, but I ordered this in medium and I think in hindsight I would prefer the fit of a small because pretty much every time I wear this, like just this length with also like the slightly looser boxier fit, I kind of end up like tying it or like tucking it or something. I don't really wear it like just like this because while I appreciate like the looser boxier vibe, I just don't know if I am really obsessed with it. Like especially from the side as well. Like I do like something a little bit more form fitted or if we're gonna do like something boxier, I want it to have like a bit more of a crop. Again, thinking a lot about, you know, what works for me, what formulas I enjoy, what silhouettes I feel my best in. But if I'm doing something a little more longer line, I do generally prefer something with a bit of waist emphasis. Not to go back to like truly the horror that was the Kibby video. <laughs> We're not gonna get into it because I did do a whole video about it. Let's not, let's not go there again. <laughs> kind of grappling with this like flattering versus fashion vibe and like trying to unpack that in my brain. And I genuinely don't think fashion has to be flattering. Like I really don't. There are so many like sick, non-traditionally flattering outfits out there. But in saying that, I do feel like my personal style and aesthetics, just like the vibe of clothes that I like and like what I feel good in, does tend to a lot of the time be things that flatter me and have waist emphasis. I'm I'm unpacking that in my brain and working on it because there's like a lot of like patriarchy and stuff in that and it's like oh, like big brains, big thoughts. But I don't think there's anything wrong with liking what I feel good in and whatever that happens to be. You know what I mean? I've been thinking a lot of big thoughts, guys. I don't know, star sign people, are there like big thought, brain, stars, moons, planets going on right now? <sighs> Alternatively, I have just been wearing it like casually just in my like work day at home and it is kind of cute for that. So maybe I keep it for that. I do like it, but maybe I don't need it anymore. I don't know. Nya, 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 nya. I promise we'll be done with the crop t-shirt soon. But then we have this white crop t-shirt from Uniqlo. And the exact same, but in like this mauve baby pink, lavender-y kind of color. I really like the fit of these t-shirts and you can probably see the difference compared to the last t-shirt. It's a very similar kind of style. It has even a similar neckline and a similar length, but just, yeah, a little bit more form-fitted. I thought this might have been a limited release from Uniqlo or a Japan exclusive because I bought these in Japan, but I think you can get them pretty much anywhere. So I'll try and link them down below if I can, because I think these are just like the best basics. Then we have this sort of boxy linen look kind of guy. Now, see, here's the thing. This one's boxy, but it's sort of long enough that I can actually tuck it into things. Whereas the Realization Par one is just that little like awkward mid length where it's not quite long enough to tuck into things. And that little bit of extra length as well makes it easy to do like a little knot or to, you know, it, we get options with that tiny little bit of extra length. I don't know, it's nice, but I don't know if I love it. Again, with the sleeve, we're kind of in that midway between being a really nice like oversized boxy and being fitted. You know, on someone with like a little bit of a different frame, it would maybe look more oversized, but I feel like on me, it's kind of in that middle area. I think this one might be going bye-bye. Also, I feel like now would be a good time to mention a little disclaimer. I've put this in previous wardrobe declutters and closet clear outs, but obviously fashion is like a component of my job. And so that kind of changes how I engage with that consumerism as compared to if I didn't 
do this. And we all like watching clear outs and declutters and we all think it's fun, but just like keep in mind that that level of turnover isn't necessarily normal. I don't think it would be normal for me if I didn't do this. I sometimes will be decluttering items that are perfectly good. I like them, I would recommend them, but I just know I'm not gonna wear them because I'm like one person with a body. Because it's definitely like a behind the scenes managing admin sort of element to that. But yeah, I'm a little bit more ruthless than I would be if this wasn't like an element of my job. You get my vibe, you get my vibe. So hence why this t-shirt is perfectly nice. I do actually think it's a nice t-shirt. There is nothing wrong with it. I'm just like, hey, I just don't reach for it and it's not gonna get a lot of use from me. And I think it should go to a place where it's going to get used, especially while it's in nice wearable condition. I'm also like so back and forth on these necklines. I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, they're cute. But sometimes I'm like, I look like I'm being choked a little. Anyway, this shirt with peace and love is going into the bye-bye pile. I think we're finally out of t-shirt zone. I think we're finally into just like top, general top zone. And first up we have this little kind of 90s Y2K vibe cardigan. I do actually really like this. I just feel like I don't reach for it a lot because it's a very like specific look. But I do actually really like the way it looks on me. I really like the color. This is one of those things where I like how it looks, but I feel like in any situation where this top would maybe be in the running, I would maybe pick something else over it, which maybe says something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm a baby. I'm gonna put this in the bye-bye pile and let me know if that is a mistake because I'm not sure. This one is a top that served me very well, especially when I was working corporate because it's kind of like formal enough, but not like too formal. And I could like tuck it into midi skirts a lot. I really like this top, but in terms of just like what I'm wearing at the moment, it's not really something I wear a lot. It's cute and I kept it in my wardrobe to see if I would wear it with like the kind of different outfits I've been wearing and I haven't. So I think it's time to go bye-bye. No hate to this shirt. I love it, it's done its duty, but it's not its not getting the love it needs. Okay, this shirt, I had a vision for how I was gonna incorporate it into my wardrobe and layer it, but I feel like it doesn't, the vision didn't come to life. It didn't really work. I do think this is a very nice shirt. It's like a nice quality cotton. The little collar detail is very nice. The arms are a little bit tight and they've always been a little bit tight. Now that I'm like lifting heavy things with my arms, you know, I'm not saying I'm like a muscle mummy or anything, but I'm just saying they haven't, they've gotten tighter. <laughs> and I intend to continue lifting slightly heavy things. So I don't think that's gonna change. Like this laid under like a little sweater would be so cute, but it's just, it's not the one, unfortunately. I do like this top. It just didn't work out for me specifically, which is sad. So this one is going bye-bye. This top is a very similar flavor, but in terms of how it looks on me, I do like this execution better. And I did get this because I thought the like collar, like vibes layered would be cute, but I think it's a little too high necked for me. Like I want the collar to be a little bit more open and like kind of start there, you know what I mean? And so I have worn this a few times open, but then it kind of looks like that. I really like the fabric. I love the little ruffles, but this like, this situation here is just, I'm not sure. And the thing is I have a top that is a similar vibe to this with like puff sleeves and like a collar, but I like the neckline on it a lot more, but I think it's hidden in like another storage box, but I know I want to keep it, so that's fine. I do like a lot about this top, but I don't know if I like it as it is. And it's kind of giving a like, I can change him vibe. For a lot of people, this would be perfect as it is. But just for me, I'm like, I kind of want it to be different. And so therefore I want it to be a different top, which I think means it needs to go bye-bye, which is a little sad. It is a really nice top though. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me and what I'm looking for. See, I already give Victorian Orphan on my own, so I just don't know if I need any help with that. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I have had this turtleneck for ages and I love layering it with this like one vest I have, but also even just wearing it out on its own, it's kind of sheer and it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm kind of into it. I also think it's potentially my only like layering turtleneck with long sleeves that I have. And I don't go for that look that often, but when I do, I have this one top that I like. It's not like my absolute favorite top, but I am always really glad to have it in certain occasions. So this one is a keep. Okay, this is another one that I've gotten a lot of wear out of, but haven't been wearing as much recently. I like this cardigan a lot conceptually. I like white tops, we know this. But luckily my infatuation with little white tops is backed up by color theory. Your gal is a summer and like a clean, bright, cool toned white is a color that is gonna, you know, make me feel, I, I love a white top. I don't love the material and the kind of finish on it. It's not the best quality, but I haven't found a perfect replacement for it yet. So the question is, do I get rid of it now so that I am like kind of forced to find a replacement or I won't find one because I'll find that I actually didn't want a replacement because I haven't been wearing it as much recently, but I do like a lot of things about it. Can I just say trying everything on is like so much worse. It's better for like actually confronting things, but like for, 
energy and like brain wise it's so much worse well, we've got a decent chunk left to go i'm gonna try and like speed it up a bit i think i'm gonna put this in the bye bye section because i have another white cardigan so maybe i can show you that one but they are different i don't know oh yeah! uh, okay maybe this one go by for now but i might pull it back out later but for now i think that's what we're doing this is the other cardigan it is longer line and it's sort of a you, you know what i mean it's a different vibe but this is the other one i was so stoked to find this on depop this is from for love and lemons which is a brand i really like in terms of just like style vibes a lot of their pieces just match very well with my vibe why did i say that in such a bizarre roundabout way i like the brand the brand makes clothes i like <laughs> but it has all these really cute little details that i've been trying to incorporate more because i love them like little lace bits and i love me a fabric covered button like something really cutesy about it i really like this one and i've been getting a lot of wear out of it and i was trying to show this to you because i was like it's like kind of an equivalent but as i'm putting it on i'm like it's a very different vibe but i like this one this one's staying bet you weren't expecting that another white top i'm full of surprises aren't i this is one from aritzia i got a while back now and i have worn this a lot i actually like layering this over gym sets and going to the gym because it's like a little sporty because it has the cute little like polo collar i've also layered it with the jumpers i took this traveling with me and wore this quite a bit it's been a really great addition to the wardrobe just one of those pieces where you're like i envision this being versatile and useful and it's been versatile and useful not a lot else to say. I like this one and I wear it a lot, so back in it goes. Now I have this cardigan, which I love the material on this. It, I believe, has either some cashmere or silk in it, so the contents of it, it's just, it's really soft and lightweight and it feels really nice. I am wearing this like a top because that's what the video is, but I feel like this is more of a layering piece. I think I would more wear this like open over something else. And I do really like this color but I haven't gotten as much wear out of it as I thought I would. I think because I just don't wear it as a top and I keep it with my tops and maybe I need to keep it with the jackets because I won't really wear this as a top. It is really comfy though and I do like it, but I just haven't been styling it as much as I anticipated. I don't know about this one. I think maybe I should declutter this one and pass it on because I really like this one. It's such a cute color and the material is so nice that I'm just not really wearing it. Hang on, I'm just gonna like unbutton it and you won't be able to see it and you won't be able to see it in the mirror, but like, let me... Hmm. I like it a lot more unbuttoned, but I think then I would prefer it to be like a cropped length as opposed to like this middle length. Okay, I think this one is gonna be passed on. Okay, I know I like this one. This is the apple cardigan, I think, from Aritzia. And I also have it in purple, which I will also try on because that is the video. And here it is in the lavender color. I have worn both of these a lot. I wear them closed. I wear them open on top of other things. I get a lot of wear out of these. And even just like trying these on sort of confirms to me that as cute as the other one is, I prefer this kind of style for versatility. These two have been winners. I've really liked having them in my wardrobe. If you have watched wardrobe declutters or clear outs before, you've probably seen this set. This set has been in my wardrobe since 2020. I bought it on a trip to Thailand from a little boutique and I am obsessed with it. It also has a matching skirt. So it's kind of like a clueless sort of vibe, but I just love the gingham and the cut. And like, even if I take the cardigan off, I really like how this wears alone. And I do wear it intermittently enough where I'm like, yeah, this is still, I still really like this, so it's gonna stay. So before I tried this on, I was like, oh, I really like this one, so I know I'm gonna like it when I put it on and I'm gonna be a yes. But now that I've put it on, it has made me remember something. And again, I think this is why a lot of people recommend you to try things on and why I guess I would also recommend it because it's now, it's reminding me why I don't reach for this, even though in my brain I'm like, I really like that top. Like I get compliments on it when I wear it because it's like so cute and it has all the colors I like and it has everything I like about it. All those things are true, but it does gap quite significantly around the honkers, the booba. And so unless I wear it like just with one button in the middle, which isn't a bad look, it does pull, but I feel like it's cute that it's like a picture. You know what I mean? Like I think it's meant to, so uh, yeah, I forgot about that, which is sad because I think it's really cute. It's like a fun little crop top, but yeah, it does gap and I don't really like that it does that and it makes it fiddly and then I'm wearing the outfit and I feel self-conscious about it. And like, it just doesn't, you know, it's a detail that does bother me like that. I'm not, mm, yeah, I think maybe it's like a little too small for me. Yeah, this one is a little too small for the chesticles. I think this is gonna have to go bye-bye. Now this one, she is so cute. You've probably seen this one. This one is so cute. This is my little Barbie cardigan. And I got this ages ago from Chu, the Korean fashion brand. The stuff they've been bringing out lately is really different to their old stuff. I'm like not as into it anymore, which is kind of sad. But anyway, this is from like an old Barbie collaboration. And so weirdly when the Barbie movie came out and it had all the pink gingham, I was like, oh my gosh, this cardigan is like perfect for that. And I made a video about Barbie and it did really well, which I don't know if I've like, 
like mentioned that at all. But if you're here from that or if you saw that and you liked it, um, thanks, thank you. That I was really, I'm really glad everyone liked it. I think I had good timing, but I was, yeah, I was really happy with that video. So I'm glad, I'm glad it, people thought maybe it was funny. I don't know. Lucy, try not to do self-deprecation challenge. Impossible. Anyway, memories aside, I do like this cardigan. I think it's fun to layer with denim and like a little white top underneath. Surprise. What a trailblazing combo from me. But I do, I like this cardigan. It's cute. And every time I wear it, people ask me where I got it. So I'm keeping this cardigan. This top is kind of different from a lot of my other tops because it's, um, it's different. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a lot of tops in this style with this neckline, but this top has come in clutch recently. I really like this color on me. I feel like it's kind of a vibe. I think it's very flattering. I've styled this in quite a few ways that I've quite enjoyed. The only thing is I don't like this material. It's a little bit sweaty and I would like to sub it out for something less sweaty, but I'm only really wearing this top in winter months where I'm less sweaty. So it's mostly okay, but that's a little footnote for you. I like this top. It's not perfect, but it's going to stay because it, I, yeah, I've been into it recently. I just wish the material was different. It's not a good material. Every time I bring out this cardigan in a video and mention it, I'm always just like, I thrifted this cardigan. It was like $12. It's amazing. I love it. And that's, it's the same vibe. I love this cardigan. The material is so soft. It's so comfortable. It's just like a hug. I love this cardigan. And I can wear it open. It is long enough that it tucks into things really nicely. Uh, it's great. Love this cardigan. It is staying. Oh my gosh, it's the last one. Thank goodness. <laughs> I picked up this turn like from Zara a while ago and I really like it as a layering piece. I don't know if it's like my go-to. I don't know if turtlenecks are good for me. Like I used to wear them a lot, but I just don't, I don't know. I've been really enjoying like the wider open necklines. And so whenever I wear a turtleneck, I'm like, what's going on here? Like is Steve Jobs core cool for me? I'm not so sure. But in saying that, I do like having them as an option. And this is, this is one of two turtlenecks I have. Admittedly, I do have some turtleneck, like chunky roll neck jumpers. And I was considering doing them in this video, but then I saw how long I've been recording for. And I think not. I think we'll do that maybe another time. <laughs> but I like the fit of this. You know, I like the color. So I think this is going to stay. With that, that's it. That's the last one. And I've been so dedicated to the course, I haven't even finished my march up. Mm. Oh no, I just saw two more shirts on my bed. I lied. This is not the last one. We're not done. Two more. <laughs> you can tell I'm running out of energy slash sunlight when I start putting things on quite haphazardly. This shirt is actually from White Fox. It's a 100% cotton long sleeved oversized shirt. Primarily use this for sun protection. And I will just put them on on top of whatever cute little summery combo I have going on just to protect myself from the sun. And you know, if we're in the shade or we're indoors, I can like unbutton it and have it be more of like an open vibe. But this is just, it's a utility thing. But this one's still pretty cute. I do actually like this one. Okay, this is the last one for realsies. I picked this up at a consignment thrift store, something like that. But it's a little vintage shirt with like a little ice cream sorbet kind of stripe going on. I don't know, it's a bit different for me, but for the summer vibes, I've been really enjoying it. Again, I wear it open or closed. It's just a fun summery option. And to be honest, it gets really, really hot here in the summertime. So I'm really enjoying the cuddly, cooler weather at the moment because when it gets really hot and humid, you do need like lightweight sort of things like this. Um, so that's that. And that's everything. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I took the hangers out as we went in terms of like things I wasn't going to keep anymore and there's quite a few hangers there so a decent declutter and to be honest I don't think if I had tried things on I would have made those decisions. I think I would have just been like oh I like this. I like the idea of this top. I'm putting it back but actually having to reckon with it on my meat sack. I was like well feeling good team. Good job team. Clap clap. <laughs> Hi everyone it's Lucy and today we are doing another installment of the wardrobe the wardrobe to clutter. Specifically the variety where I try on all of my clothes. And today we're doing jackets, jumpers, sweaters, outers, coats, that kind of dealio. Outer, outer wear. And by the way, if you hear a noise in the background, it is not spirit that haunts my apartment. Different guy. It's just the wind. So, don't know. I was going to do pants or skirts today, but then I chugged into menstruation station, so decided against that. Going for full comfy pants today, we are in the trenches. <laughs> I thought I didn't have that many pieces of outerwear. Like when I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't think I have that many coats. Like I don't think I have that many jackets. But when you kind of look across like the whole category, like jumpers, jackets, sweaters, coats, that whole category, you got a little bit to go through. They're kind of all like tucked away in here. So we shall see how we go. I am ready to dive in. I am just gonna remove some of my extra accoutrement before we get started. Because I think after a few total neck jumpers, the hair and earring situation could become a little, a little frazzled. Okay, I am prepared. 
Let's just jump into it, shall we? This is a little cropped off-white cardigan I have from Princess Polly with just like a single button clasp in the middle. I do share this wardrobe with my boyfriend, so it's not like huge. And in Australia, we basically have two main seasons, hot, which is like nine months and then cold, which is for three. Anyway, my point with that weather report and tangent was that I tend to swap out my winter and summer clothes because the clothes I need for the very cold part of the year are not the same ones that I need for the very hot part of the year. But I obviously do have a really solid chunk of like transitional pieces. And this was one of the ones that I've kept in for winter, but it's definitely, to me, it's more of like a spring summery kind of option. You know, it's cropped, it's light, it's white, so it matches with a lot of like more pastel colors that I tend to wear in the warmer months and in the colder months too, but that's neither here nor there. But I just haven't really been wearing it because it's not like the kind of layering piece that I'm opting for at the moment, but it is the kind of thing that comes in really handy when I'm wearing like a sleeveless dress and just want like a little bit of sun protection. You know what I mean? You're wearing like a nice sundress that you don't really want to wear something with, but you also don't want to get cooked to the crisp in like the walk from the Uber kind of thing. And don't get me wrong, this is cute, but like I tend to use it in that more utilitarian kind of way. So that one is a keep. Next up, we got some vesties. This is not really gonna give like the proper effect because I basically always layer these, but you know. <laughs> so this one I lay with something with like a collar underneath, which admittedly I did get rid of my collared blouses in the other video because they weren't really like serving. I do think I am just gonna buy one of those like detachable like collars because I love the like oversized collar look. And I feel like if I just had a big collar, then I could just do that without necessarily relying on shirts that aren't quite fit for purpose. But anyway, we're workshopping it. Uh, yeah, I think I got this one on Yes Style like a while back. I just really like the colors, you know, black, pink in your area. It's, it's a good vibe. And I like the cropped length as well. It's fun, love a crop. Anyway, this one's staying. Then we have this one, which I think I got from Chew. This one is not as form-fitted. It's got more of like a baggy kind of oversized structure. So I usually layer this over like a turtleneck or something and like tuck this into a pair of jeans or like a little mini skirt. It's good. I also like this one. This one is also staying. Ooh, I don't know if I've like talked about this one before. Maybe I have. I love this jacket. This one I got from Teddy Fresh. I got it on sale at a really good price and it is really beautiful quality. Like I was really shocked at how nice the quality is and I just love all the colors. And you can obviously zip it up and wear it as a turtleneck neck or you can kind of like roll it down to be more of like a collared vibe and it's really warm too and the material composition is 70% merino wool and I remember getting this in the sale and it was less than a hundred which isn't like cheap there are designers who are charging a lot more for like wool or cashmere options and the percentage is a lot lower so yeah I just really really like this piece it's very very cute also I don't know if anyone else listens to the H3 podcast but and then I got this jumper from Rowie the Label recently. And again, this is where I'm like, I need that like little collar because how cute would this be styled with like a nice big chunky collar? Just think of the possibilities. Anyway, it's really cute on its own. It is 30% merino wool and 30% alpaca. It is very soft, very cozy. Cropped fit, this gorgeous like lilac-y almost, baby pink. Nice little scrunch on the arms. Like this is... It's very me coded. Yeah, I love this jumper. Like, <laughs> it's new to my wardrobe and I'm sad that the cold months are like ending soon because like I won't be wearing this as much and I've just really, I'm really into it. So far it's all keep. <laughs> and this one, I'm telling you now, it's gonna be another keep. So sorry to disappoint. This jumper I just picked up on my trip to Japan a few months ago. And I do still have videos that I filmed in Japan that will be coming out. They're a little more time intensive to edit because of like the format, but like they're there, they exist. I'll just be kind of like dotting them in throughout my regular kind of not in Japan content. But I got this jumper at a thrift secondhand store in Koenji and it was quite affordable and it is from Banana Republic, <laughs> which is a bit random, but I love this color. This kind of baby blue is like my favorite color and I just feel like it really, really suits me. And it is cotton, rayon, silk and cashmere blend and it is so soft, but it's like lightweight, it's comfy. And I really like like thicker, like chunkier knits. So it's nice to have something a little bit lighter weight. And this was actually really handy throughout the rest of my trip traveling. You know, you got the long sleeves, but it's still like holding in enough warmth, but it's not like too thick that it's like sweaty. It's a little bit baggy and a little bit longer lined, like fashionably, it's not like my most fashionable piece. But because it's really lightweight, you can like tuck it into things quite easily. Not that tucking it into this is gonna be the best look. With these pants, it looks a little bit silly like that. You get my point, but I can also kind of like push it up a little bit. And again, imagine it with a big collar. I really need to sort that issue out because I have a bunch of outfits in my wardrobe where I'm like, but imagine what this would look like with a piece that I don't have. And it's like the same piece in every scenario. So I just need to, I need to sort that. <laughs> anyway, this is also staying. This one, 
we got to talk about this one. So this gorgeous pink option is a 100% wool YSL vintage jumper. I got it off of Bai, which if you've watched any of my videos where I talk about Bai and some of my vintage finds from there, strongly recommend. It is so good. But so I saw this online and I thought it was really gorgeous and like it is and I got it for a great price. So no hate. However, I have found that every time I have come to put this on to wear it, I just don't, I don't know, there's something about it. And now in hindsight, I hate to bring it up again, but it is, it is, it has actually just been very helpful and relevant to me. After figuring out my color season, I think it's the color. And this is like a cool toned, like magenta berry pink, but I just feel like it kind of wears me. Like it's too bright. It's almost like bordering on neon it's gorgeous but like I is it just me am I like Delulu like is it actually fine because I just feel like I kind of like fade away in this jumper I don't know I I love the color and it's so pretty and this is the type of color where I would wear this like as a skirt or pants but it's like a little too like saturated a bit too bright I think which makes me sad because I like really like this jumper but I don't I don't know if I like it on me and I would be a lot happier if I didn't have this really gorgeous jumper being held hostage in my wardrobe and not being worn and I could just like sell it on Depop and someone else could like have this really nice like 100% wool vintage sweater like I think you know it, I don't know this wind is crazy and I feel like it's always the ones where it's like I really want to make it work but every time I try it just doesn't feel right those are the ones that are like you know they need to they need to go like the item sparks joy but like wearing the item does not spark joy so i think i'm gonna sell this one on depop see now this jumper is more of like the pink that i like i swear i'm not trying to give you a color analysis video but i actually just re-watched bits of mine the other day to like refresh my memory this kind of pink see how it's like bright but it's not like as neony I feel like this one just doesn't overwhelm me color wise as much as the other one does. This one is from Cos. I got it on sale and it is a 100% wool. And I know some wool is kind of like itchy, but this one is not itchy. It's very comfortable. This one is definitely like a more baggy, slouchy kind of vibe, but I tend to just kind of like tuck the front in or actually I use like a hair tie and kind of like bundle it underneath to make it more of like a cropped vibe. But this is another one that I took traveling with me that I just was like very into for the comfort factor. It's just very cozy. It's very warm. It's nice quality. Next up, we have this cardigan, which is one I got from Depop and it is from For Love and Lemons. This cardigan is really cute and I really like the style. I kind of wish it was not a size medium and a size small because I think for this style it's just a touch too baggy off like what I think it's meant to be like it's meant to be slouchy but I think these are meant to be a little more fitted and like this is meant to be fitted you know what I mean like fitted here and like slouchier here so I tend to wear this cardigan like fully buttoned up kind of like a top mostly and I got it in the size medium again on Depop so it's not like I can just like pick but I kind of am like if I saw a small on Depop I would maybe buy that and then sell this one. I think it's just, it's just a little big, like not by much, like it obviously fits fine, but I just think like stylistically, I would prefer for it to be the size down. It's definitely meant to be worn closed, like worn open, it's not quite giving. Such a minor nitpick and I'm kind of tempted to sell it, maybe. Uh, hmm. Someone commented on my last video where I was talking about this similar issue where I had a top and I was like, I wish I got it sized down. Like the fit is just not quite right. And they're like, why don't you just get it altered? And I don't know why that didn't occur to me. I'm just so used to getting like pants altered. Cause I'm like, oh, that's something that you like should get altered. Like it's a normal alteration. And in my brain, I was like, why would I get a t-shirt altered? Like it's so much trouble. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so maybe if it's not like too much trouble, I could get this altered, but I feel like Maybe it's more difficult to alter this kind of knitted vibe, but also I am not a seamstress. It is not my area of expertise. I am not good with like technical fingers, <laughs> like arts and crafts. Like I see so many people and there are people in the right royalty discord and they are so talented and they're like crocheting and like making all these amazing things. And I think it's so cool, but just, you know, when you just know you're like, ah, oh, this, this hobby is just not one that I feel like would click for me. <laughs> I feel like it's really nice to have a like creative type hobby, a hobby where you make something. And for me, I feel like it's cooking or baking. Like I find that really enjoyable, but I understand like why people don't like cooking and baking. And you know, never say never, but just like at this point, you know, when you just look at something and you're like, oh yeah, like that, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like I have my creative quota hobbies. I have my like, you know, activity sport hobbies. And then I have my like rotting, like relaxing hobbies, which is just like playing video games. <laughs> this one is cute, but I think it's like a mate. I'm going to put it in the like, talk about getting this fixed 
pile. It's just about whether or not that fix would be worth it or if someone else would just like it as it is, you know? Just weighing up these very, very heavy, intense decisions. <laughs> Okie dokie, now we have this gigantic cardigan. I have been getting quite a bit of wear out of because it's just so cute. I got this one from Steel, which is an Australian brand that I really like. I don't know, just like the recent stuff they've come out with, I've been like, ooh, ooh. So this is like a really big, like oversized, like balloon sleeve cardigan. You can't even really see. Can you see if I, there you go. You can kind of, I'll just, I'll just get in. You can see like how long it is. I just feel like it's a really easy way to dress up like a little crop top and jeans kind of combo. Like if you just have something like super casual, but you want to make it more like cozy and like a little bit more feminine, like this cardigan is like a bit of a, you know, like it's a bit of a scene stealer, but like an outfit. What is the word for that? Like accent pick? No. What is the word for thing that pop be more? <laughs> I've forgotten the word. Like the opposite of a basic. A I can't think of the word at this point in time, but you know what I mean? It's like a bit of a, a statement, state, statement piece. This is a bit of a statement piece. And I don't really have any other pieces like it, like a really nice long line, cozy, big kind of cardigan. And also look, it's got all like little bubbles on the sleeves. It's so cute. See, so yeah, I like this one. It's good. I have a couple of little like ugh, folded guys in there. This one was in like my original chew haul on my old channel if you've been watching for a while. If you're like newer here, I had a second channel and I started that in like, I don't know, it was a while back, I was in uni and it was like one of the like first few videos I did on that YouTube channel and it kind of like popped off unexpectedly <laughs> and I didn't really like know what to do so I didn't really like take advantage of it. It was a Chu haul like trying on fashion from this Korean brand called Chu and their stuff was like so cute and like feminine and playful and like oh it was so good and I feel like their vibe is kind of shifted now. You know the new stuff is like not really hitting for me but ho hopefully maybe the new things will hit. Don't know. But this was a jumper from them. Um, I don't wear this one a lot anymore. It is kind of cool, I feel like. Like when I'm like up here, like the, the how chunky the neck is and like the, you know, the cable net kind of vibe. I'm like, oh, it is kind of a cool jumper. But I'm not sure if I like like how long line it is with like also the baggy combo. Like, it, and it's quite thick. So like tucking it is like a bit of a challenge and it's got like a split hem. But what if I cropped it like that? That could kind of be a sleigh. What if I did that? Or maybe it's time has come. Like the fact that I haven't worn it at all this winter is to me kind of like, well, you probably wouldn't miss it if it wasn't there. It's cute, but it's not like as cute as the other ones that I already have and love. So maybe, maybe we say adieu. Unless you comment and tell me I'm making a horrendous decision, in which case I may reconsider. But I think, I think I'm on the right track and I think this one is a goodbye old friend kind of vibe. This one is another jumper from that same video. And as you can see, it's kind of like a rusty, dusky, rosy kind of color. Again, another oversized vibe. This one I feel like I really liked when I was blonde. This one I also got so much wear out of, but again, I'm just like, it's not really, it's not really giving to me in this moment. Like it's cute and I have some old pictures of me in this jumper that I really like, but I'm also like, I, I wouldn't reach for this again over like other options. That actually reminded me, I have this jumper, which is got a bit of a hole and like a tear in it. So I need to get it repaired. But I wanted to show it to you because it's like a very similar style to these other jumpers with like a nice big chunky, like roll turtleneck vibe. But I really like this color and it works with a lot more of my wardrobe. It's like, I don't know. So I have this <laughs> and it's super, super cute. And I was wearing it a bunch on my trip to Japan. But while I was on the trip, it like ripped horribly and I didn't want to keep wearing it in case I would like make it worse or wreck it. And it was also like a, with some sizable holes with like thread sticking out. <laughs> and you know, you put it in the like, take this to get fixed tote bag and then you like forget. And this is reminding me I need to get this fixed. But it's a very similar style. So it has very similar purpose in the wardrobe to those two other jumpers. And I like this one a lot more. And it's a lot nicer quality, like material, just like all around, I prefer this one. So that's like a bit of stuff going on in my like reasoning rubric in my brain. Just so you know what's on the table, you know, with these decisions. And then I have another jumper which is also very similar. And I still wear this one pretty regularly. It's like this dusky kind of mauvey pink color. It layers well and works well with other colors. I have my wardrobe, the material quality is really nice. It's from a brand, and this was years ago. It was one of the first brands who like 
you know, wanted to like send me clothes and I was like, oh, okay. And they were really nice about it. They were like a small, like Australian brand, I think. But then I think they didn't ever launch or like they don't exist anymore, which is sad. But I still do reach this from time to time. So I will be keeping this. Let's rally troops, let's go. This is my only denim jacket. Well, it's like my only blue denim jacket. <laughs> this is from Princess Polly and I wear this pretty regularly and I get compliments on it like all the time, which is so fair because it's really cute. Little patchwork detail going on. I don't know. It's a little bit different than like a regular regular denim jacket. Another thing I really like about it is it's kind of like a more lightweight denim, which I know a lot of the time with denim, people do look for those like thicker, more rigid denim pieces lighter weight denim on me actually tends to work better because it's got a little bit more of a drape to it it's not quite as structured which i find that like i tend to prefer like softer lines so i still get like the denim vibe but without it being like the kind of you know more rigid like boxy vibe that a lot of denim jackets tend to be i don't really have a lot to say i i really like this jacket and i wear it a lot i don't know if they still make it or if it's still like around but uh, it's really cute it's one of those items where i kind of like picked it up at the time being like oh this is cute like i'll try this and it's just been like surprisingly very useful and versatile in my wardrobe and just like works so well with like a lot of the styles I like. So this jacket has been yeah super handy. Then I have this jacket and as you can see it has a matching pair of pants which we will try on in the pants one episode one video. The pants the pants video. <laughs> and I must say thankful we're not doing that today. This is the Abrant and Dyspnea set and it is so cute. Like it's, you know, it's quite a like statement piece and I feel like I typically only wear this jacket with like a pink getup if I'm going for like a Valentine's Day, like love core kind of vibe or I wear it like as a full cord with the pants, which is kind of fun, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't get enough wear out of it and it's really cool. And like, it's so, like it's so sick, but I just don't, I don't really wear it. And I don't want to like just put everything in terms of a theory into like a bucket of like why I don't wear things because it's not always color it can be other things it can be things like fit or just general like personal style shifts or lots of other things right however <laughs> might I say <laughs> I think this pink is maybe a bit more of like a warm tone kind of pink maybe I'm completely delusional maybe it's maybe it's literally just a neutral pink and it's fine see if I put up like a cool pink like next to this does it Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Perhaps not. It's also probably something to do with like the fit. It is a bit more of like that, like rigid, like structured boxy kind of vibe, which I think is cool, but it's not something I typically go for and not something I feel like at home in. I don't know. I feel like this is one of the ones where I'm like, I could probably sell this because I know they don't make this anymore and it's so, so, so cute. And I know a lot of people like really into it and someone could have like the full set and wear it more often than I do. I don't know. Maybe I should not do that, but I just, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, ironically, I have this denim jacket, but then I also have this one, <laughs> which is also a pink denim jacket. A little bit more of a color that I prefer. It's like a little bit more of like a dusky kind of mauvey pink. And again, this one is a little bit more floppy, a little bit less structured, a little bit more oversized. Mm. Admittedly, I do reach for this from time to time because it's quite a like plain, but still like complementary colored to a lot of things I own jacket. It's definitely more of like a very casual, like oversized look, which is very cool. I don't, mm, yeah, this one's tough. <laughs> this jacket falls into a similar category in where I'm like, it, it works like within my wardrobe to a degree and like in the structure of my wardrobe, it has a place, but I just feel like if this were in the same style as this jacket, I would like a lot more, but it's definitely just, it has a lot of elements about it that I really like, but that last element of the bits that I don't really like is maybe strong enough to maybe suggest that I don't need it. It serves like a functional purpose where from time to time I do throw this on, but it's usually never like an outfit where I'm like, oh, this is one for the feed. Like the outfits where I'm wearing this jacket are never the outfits that I'm like, really jazzed about and maybe that says something mm, i think perhaps it's a buy for now but let me know what you think maybe i'm being like too cutthroat you know i'm indecisive everyone and it's libra season right now as well so it's like double double trouble because i feel like it's a libra trait they like you know aesthetic things they like pretty things they're drawn like little moths to pretty things. And I would say that's very accurate. However, on the flip side, I would say I'm not really like a maximalist. Like I enjoy optimizing 
clothing and things. Like I'm already indecisive as it is and then it makes like the indecisiveness more difficult when you have more options that are not optimal options. I'm a bit indecisive on that one but I think that one's a goodbye for now. Goodbye. Then I have this cardigan. I don't know how this didn't make it into the cardigans from the other video because I feel like I just did a lot of cardigans in that video but I think it's because I don't wear this one as a top. I wear it like as an outer like 99% of the time so I just put it in the outer section. I don't quite know but regardless um I really like this cardigan. Like even this combo with like the charcoal grey and the white and then the little pastel blue and green. It's very cute. Every time I wear this cardigan I feel like it's very cute. I actually got it from Cider. In a video that I did like ages ago we were like testing out Cider and seeing how it was. Surprisingly I've gotten like so much wear out of this and I think you know it's quite nice quality and like the fit is nice and yeah like this is just super cute so I am keeping this. And then last jacket and then I just have a couple coats and we're gonna be done. But this is like a bomber jacket I got from Monkey and on it I have some like little pins that I got and also like my boyfriend got for me so it's a cute kind of like item and I used to wear it a lot because I wore this a lot in uni where I was just kind of wearing like jeans and a t-shirt every day and I still wear jeans and a t-shirt a lot but you know what I mean like different kind of vibe. I was going for more like cool pastel pop street. I don't exactly know how to articulate it. I was working things out. Style is always evolving. It was fun. It was cute. I barely reached for this ever um and I just I don't I don't know hey hmm again it's a similar vibe where I'm like don't get me wrong it's a cute item but when it comes to like outfits I have floating around in my brain where I'm like oh I want to like do that or do something like that they don't feature a bomber jacket typically this is very like 2016 to 2018 Lucy Core, I feel which is very cute but also maybe not 2023 Lucy Core, so maybe I don't really know if I want this bomber jacket anymore I don't know is that mm, mm. it's cute and it's cool it's not really sparking joy though okay gotta think of my girl Marie in times like this so while we have like mild sentiment for this jacket the jacket itself is not sparking joy I will keep the pins though because I feel like I could put the pins on like the denim jacket or something because they're really cute very exciting news that is everything in this closet I do have one other small closet that I use for like big jackets and like suitcases and stuff so I have like a couple of coats and I'll go grab them oh my gosh I haven't worn this coat in ages I don't know if you can like fully see it but it's just like a gray trenchy sort of coat I don't know it's kind of just it's it's a coat <laughs> I feel like coats is a little bit different because they're so utilitarian and it's like if you get rid of a coat uh, and then you don't have another one that works in its stead then you put yourself in a bit of a pickle I think this coat is fine. It's not particularly exciting, but it's fine. It like is functional Like I wouldn't put it on the Pinterest board as like my dream coat But I also don't wear coats a lot So it's not really like a huge thing for me and a lot of the time when you're going somewhere where you need a coat It is just the outer layer that you wear on top of every single outfit is like a utilitarian thing unless you like live somewhere cold like I have seen some coats online that I was like oh my god like they're so beautiful but they're also like very expensive and I don't really live in a coat climate so at this point in time like doesn't really make sense for me I don't have as much experience with coats as I do with like little white crop tops <laughs> I almost forgot that I had this this is like I think it was really fun to like experiment with this I've worn a couple outfits with this where I've been like oh that's like really different for me it's kind of like fun to experiment but at the end of the day, I don't really reach for this. Um, it's just not, yeah, it's not really like a piece that I would super reach for and I haven't really reached for it. Um, and I also don't wear a ton of black, but I am about to show you a black coat that I have actually gotten quite a lot of wear out. So I'll show you that now. Now, I feel like I say on here, I'm like, oh, I don't wear a black lot, but actually in the wintertime, accessories wise, like boots and bags and like skirts and like tights, I do wear black, but I just don't wear a lot of black close to my face. It's like past knee length. It's quite a long coat, but it has like a little waist tie. It's from and other stories. I think they might still sell it. And this coat has honestly served me so well. It's really warm. It has the super cute like faux fur cuffs and the collar. The shape is really nice, I feel like. And it's just served me really well. Like I've gotten a lot of wear out of this. And because it's not wool, it's like almost like a nylon-y kind of material on the sleeves. It's actually quite weather resistant as well. Like when it rains, I don't have to stress too much about this coat. Like if it's like a light rain or something, it just kind of like wipes off, which is quite nice. Functionally, I really love this coat. I do feel like, because it's black and has like the big faux fur collar and stuff, it's quite 
overwhelming but I don't know if I hate that and a lot of the time if I'm like rugged up and it's like cold I will just like open it and tie the tie at the back so it's not like full black and you can kind of see the outfit peeking through it's kind of like extra and it's a little bit unexpected I feel like for me but I feel like paired with more like pastel-y kind of pieces this adds like a nice bit of like spice to the outfit and I also just like the shape to this coat like the way it kind of comes in it's just I think it's so cute when it's cold and I'm wearing like my little pastel jumpers with like a little black or like checked mini skirt and then my big like chonky boots or like Mary Jane's like this coat just works very well with those options so I really like this coat the only thing is it's just it's just very dark <laughs> and very big so it's quite like a full-on vibe but again, it's like I don't wear a coat that often and the types of outfits I wear when I'm wearing a coat work well with this. So, you know. And then last but not least, I think this might be one of the pieces in my wardrobe that I'm like most obsessed with. But you might have seen this before. Um, I also got this on Baye. It is a secondhand vintage Versace coat that I got for like less than a hundred bucks. And it's like shearling and it's like pink shearling like if i want a big opulent coat kind of vibe i have the black one and then i have this one which is more of like a casual but again a colored vibe instead of being black i really really love this the only thing is because it's quite old the suede has become like discolored i don't know how well you can see it on camera but you can see like under the armpits and stuff like the more like protected areas it used to be more of like a lighter pink and now it's gone kind of like gray beige so i want to see if i can get this restored to be a little bit more of like a more vibrant pink as opposed to being the sort of gray beige color which i actually don't hate i have worn it like this and been like meh but you know just brightening it up a little bit because like i can see peaks of like what the color used to be more like and you can kind of see it on the back too like there's just a few different colors going on and i would just really like to get it fixed but i just haven't gotten around to it yet because i feel like it's going to be expensive it's so warm it's so cozy it's so me like it's pink it's pink on the inside and then it's meant to also be very pink on the outside i really thought this one was going to be like a shorter one to film but looking at how long i've been recording not the case. <laughs> the hair is giving volume, it's giving beauty guru like 2015 vibes like. <laughs> oh. Hi everyone, today we are continuing on with the wardrobe declutter. I'm thinking today might be a little bit of a shorter one than usual because today we are tackling pants, which is a category that I just don't have a lot of. Ironically, I do have like favorite jeans and I like jeans a lot, but I only really have like a couple of pairs that I really love and then like pants wise, I'm not really like a pants gal. In saying that, let's open up Pandora's box <laughs> and get in amongst the pants section. I don't think I have that many. So other than off screenshots that you won't be seeing of me kind of like wiggling into the more tight fitting pants, it should be a pretty chill one today. But if you do need to grab a drink or like a little snacky, then I encourage you to do so so we can get all cozy and you can help me through this process. This section here is kind of it, pants. We will go back to skirts, which is much much worse. But we're doing pants today and I also hope with this one because pants are just such a tricky item to shop for and it's hard enough having your preferences for like colors, styles, silhouettes, details and then also adding fit on top of it and it's just like pants are just like a nightmare for that. It's probably why I don't have that many of them. So if any of you are like me because I have seen a couple comments where a couple of you have mentioned that you might be like a similar kind of shape to me. Hopefully even if some of these pieces aren't available anymore at least being able to see different like cuts and styles might be handy for you in terms of what might also work for you. You know what I I mean that's that's kind of the vibe today and i'm just sipping up the caffeine at the moment i have been a busy busy little rat ah i'm fine but first up some of you are being very astute i'm actually already wearing a pair of pants yes <laughs> and i am just including some b-roll footage because it's kind of hard to get like a full length shot of pants in my small rental unit bedroom but i've gotten a few messages about where i got this pair of jeans from because they are super cute i have gotten so much wear out of these jeans and i am so sorry but i actually got them at a second hand store they're actually zimmerman which i would say is one of australia's most famous like designer brands i mean i think they were like 65 australian dollars which some of you might be like that's not really that good of a price but honestly for me if i just randomly on a whim pick up a pair of pants try them on and they fit like this i'm willing to pay pretty significant amounts of money because i just really don't like shopping for pants it's often like a bit of a demoralizing feeling and i try not to like take that on as like a negative thing but it is like very annoying when they market jeans to be like curvy fit and i still have like a massive gap in the back like and another thing i will say i don't actually know if these are meant to fit on me how they're meant to fit like the intention of the fit of them but they fit on me in like a quite nice way in my opinion so i don't really care 
how they were actually meant to fit. A well-fitting quality pair of jeans is definitely an area in my wardrobe where I'm kind of willing to like, you know, splash a bit of cash because like these I have worn so much so worth the money like they have already paid themselves back they're probably my most worn pair of jeans of the last year and i'll talk about the other pairs i have but this kind of like wide leg relaxed sort of like lighter weight denim that's not like as heavy and thick i think is the key for me speaking of which let me bring out another pair of jeans that i get a lot of wear out of <laughs> so this colored pair of jeans is actually from lucan when i collaborated with them last year and if you told me that i would be able to find a really nice comfy well-fitting pair of kind of cute pastel colored jeans from a Korean fashion website. I probably wouldn't believe you just based on experiences I've had with Korean fashion and sizing, but I've actually gotten such good wear out of these jeans from Lucan. I really, really like them. Again, what I love about them is that the denim is very lightweight. It's not a super heavy, thick denim, which I feel like is sometimes synonymous with like really good quality, like fancy designer denim brands. You know what I mean? That like really thick, like vintage denim, which is beautiful and I really like it, but I just find with my body type, unless it's like a very particular cut, that kind of denim can be really hit or miss with me. Whereas this, because it's more lightweight, it's got a little bit more of a flow to it. So for things like the booty, it kind of just like drapes over it nicely rather than trying to like fit it into a particular shape. I've also found that looking for styles that uh, very much stress like the wide leg aspect. And sometimes even like on the website, you're like proportionally, that looks like really, really wide leg on me. Looks pretty normal, not that crazy, <laughs> not that out there. So I'm still trying to like figure out my tips and tricks to like successfully purchase denim online. I'd always recommend going in store if you can, especially with pants. And also sometimes websites don't have the like exact measurements. Like they'll have a size chart for their brand, but they don't have the individual measurements for the individual styles which I find so useful because Lucan did have that for these pants and that's how I knew they were gonna fit me is because I had the waist measurement, the hip measurement and the thigh circumference. <laughs> I think they would potentially be my most worn pair of pants if they weren't this kind of lilac-y purple color. Like considering they're not like a classic blue denim, I have worn these a ton. And I just wanna find more jeans in this kind of like lighter weight denim drapey vibe, but it has been surprisingly difficult. <laughs> so I'll keep you updated on my search and let me know if you have any recommendations. Let me know and I'll also let you know how I go. Taking a quick break from jeans, I have this pair of shorts, which in the viewfinder to me look like my skin color. I know they're not and they won't look like that, but just cause I'm like far away, it looks like that. And it kind of just looks like I've got like a flesh thing. <sighs> anyway, I have had these shorts for years. They are from 66 Girls. And as you can see, they're kind of like a tailored wide leg and this is another situation where on the website and kind of like how they're described it's a very like exaggerated wide leg but on me my proportions wise it doesn't look so exaggerated it just looks like a nice pair of tailored shorts that aren't like super duper tight they are definitely on the more fitted end but in terms of like actual shorts i think they are my only pair again i'm more of a skirt girl but i know that come the very hot months if I really want to do a look with a pair of shorts, I have this one pair that I really like and have liked for long enough to keep around for many, many years. Oh my God, these are actually really hard to get on. I'm like really having to like, uh, these are super skinny. <laughs> I think maybe Lee still makes this style because I think it's quite popular, which by the way, if you have a problem with like waist to hip gapping, I do find in terms of like more mainstream commercial brands, Lee jeans is where I've had the best luck. Just quite a few of their cuts just seem to accommodate better. These are their super high licks, super skinny. <laughs> and I bought these a couple of years ago when super high rise, super skinny denim was like the thing. And I wore them when I was traveling during the winter. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but it's kind of interesting being in my twenties and having now sort of been an adolescent slash adult who buys their own clothes for long enough that I've experienced like kind of a cycle. Like for a lot of my teenage years, like skinny jeans were very much the thing. Then it was kind of like the straight, like boyfriend, girlfriend, mum jeans and now it's kind of swung all the way over to like wide leg, like low rise kind of jeans. So now I've sort of been able to experience and try all of those things. And so I don't know if it's just because wider leg stuff is more popular at the moment is why I like it. Or if it's just because now there's availability of it that I've been able to actually try it and see that it works best for me. You know, it's like a chicken and egg kind of thing. So these do fit me. Like looking in the mirror, I don't super hate it. But I am also just like, does any kind of outfit that I ever get excited about 
ever or even am interested in ever involves skinny jeans? I'm gonna say no. And also they're a black pair of skinny jeans. I like black in my outfits in like little doses as opposed to more solid chunks. And I would say this is a solid chunk. So I feel like it's, you know. Yeah, I haven't tried these pants on in a couple of years. So it's like interesting to revisit them. Sometimes things that I declutter, I'm like, it's just because the fit is not right. The color is not right. But in this case, I think it's just like the style is just not something that I'm really into. And like, never say never, there could be a time, you know, down the track where I'm really into skinny jeans again. But I don't super foresee that happening. And if for whatever reason that did happen, I'm sure I could potentially acquire another pair. So I think I am gonna declutter these. I feel like I might as well get the other very tight pair of pants out of the way. So these are actually very slay, in my opinion at least. They're from a UK brand called Amy Lynn London, I think. And I had seen these metallic pants they had been doing in a bunch of different colors. And I had just seen on their page, like they had all different kinds of models and different like people featured of really different shapes wearing their pants. And so normally if I saw a pair of these pants, which look like they're not particularly forgiving, I would be like, well, that's probably not gonna work out for me. But because they had like a little bit of diversity on their socials, I was like, okay, maybe this could work for me. So I ordered a pair for fashion week. I was in between sizes. I ordered the larger pair and I got them taken in and I love them. I admittedly don't wear them very much. I do feel like they're a little bit more of like a going out special occasion, like nighttime-y kind of piece. Because I mean, they are a pair of like shiny silver pants. And also you might be able to tell from the type of fabric. I wouldn't really call this an everyday fabric. It's these kind of like more special like statement pieces, which are a bit more for occasions where I'm like, I'm more lean in terms of like the comfort level. I feel like if you've been watching me, you'll probably know that I have a little bit of a penchant for things like cotton and silk and cashmere and stuff because wearing those day to day is a very like pleasant experience. It tends to look good and it's very comfortable and it tends to last well. Like natural fibers, yum, 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 yum. Mm. But I'm not like super strict about it. Like I do think these are like artistically and fashionably like a very interesting and fun piece. So on occasion, this kind of thing does tickle my fancy. And I will say top hack because even just me standing here in this room for a couple of minutes, I can feel my legs like sweating a little bit. <laughs> I tend to wear these in the winter time and I have actually worn these multiple times with a pair of like thermal leggings underneath which makes them like way easy to get on and off like they don't get stuck to you. Mm, so glamorous but like look hey it's not my normal pair of pants but I have figured out a strategy for more like tailored kind of like fitted styles like this I do just take them to my local queen seamstress and get her to take them in for me so they fit really nicely so Yay, these are so sweaty, but they're also so slay. I should wear them out more, but I don't like go out that much. <laughs> but like, I mean, come on, that's pretty fun. So this is a pair of pants that is quite different from the other things because they're a little more like, I don't know, the elastic waistband vibe. They're like dark gray corduroy. They're just like totally a little bit of a different vibe, but I have been getting so much wear out of these. Is it because they're very comfortable? <laughs> yes, yes. That is definitely a big factor. But there's something about these as well that if I like style them in a particular way, I don't know, it kind of gives like comfy, cute princess ballet core vibes. Like this kind of gray to me is kind of ballet core-y. I don't really know why. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like I have like track pants that I just wear around the house. But because these are like gray and like a velvety corduroy kind of vibe, I feel like maybe I'm Delulu, but I can kind of like dress them up a bit. So they give like a very effortless chill vibe, but they're still kind of cute. Like wearing this with like a baby pink baby t-shirt and like little ribbons in my hair. You know, like, can you see the vision? Do I always execute that vision well? No, I don't. But every now and then when I like hit that nail on the head, it's like, mm. but I've also been really enjoying wearing these at home. When you work from home, it is so tempting to just wear like the comfiest things you own every single day. But then I kind of like get to the end of the week and I don't really feel like I've gotten to like play with fashion much, which like I really enjoy doing. So I've been enjoying it dressing these up a little bit because they're still very comfortable. Like I am just sitting at my desk and doing a lot of editing and sending emails. So I don't need to be like in full corporate vibes. <laughs> but for me and my mental morale, like, I like to look cute. It's fun. I do it for myself because when I get like really busy, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't spend time like doing my makeup. Like I don't need to do that. But I also like enjoy it. And it's like one of the things that I like to talk about on here. They've just been like a nice bridging piece. And I've been enjoying kind of like dressing these up and making these like more girly. So yeah, that's this pair of pants. So far, we've only really decluttered one pair of pants, but just, you know, going into this section, I didn't have lofty goals for like eradication of like 50% of the pants. Cause like there's not, it's so hard to find pants I like. So like 90% of the time, if I have a pair of pants, like they've been good enough to even make it into the wardrobe, it's gonna be kind of tough to get them out. <laughs> 
just as I'm zipping these up, I would actually like your opinion on this pair of pants because I am gonna keep them, but I like have some holdups, if you will, and would like your thoughts. Because this pair of jeans, they are from A brand. They are their carry jeans. Like that's the style name they are. And these are in like the washed black version, but they have lots of other colors. But when I look at the different pictures on the website, I feel like each different color is like a little bit of a different fit. Like not all of them, but there is like a variance between them. Because I went into a store and tried on like the lighter wash blue pair of these because I was like oh I like like these enough they are readily available they often go on discount I would like to try them in my preferred denim wash which is like a lighter wash like these kind of black gray jeans I don't get as much wear out of I really only wear them in the winter time whereas like blue wash denim I'll pretty much wear like all year round except when it's like way too hot anyway so I tried on the blue pair of these and they just didn't look that great. And I don't know if I've just worn this pair in, but they're like a rigid denim. They don't really have any stretch to them or anything. And I feel like these fit me, but not in the way that they're intended to fit, but they still fit, but it's sort of like a little bit of an in-between fit. And I'm not sure if it's just me. So I would like your opinion, but I feel like these are kind of like fitted in some places, really baggy in others. Whereas I think it's meant to be like an all round baggy kind of style. And I think because they're sort of in between, it makes it like a little challenging to style sometimes. Sometimes I have taken like outfit pictures in these jeans and I've looked back at them and I'm like, these don't look quite right. And I'm not quite sure why. I don't know how to put it. It's almost like depending on the day, I will or won't like these jeans. And that is not the case for other jeans. And I just don't, I haven't been able to nail it down. But I would say two out of the three times I've like styled this up and like put together an outfit with these jeans, I'm like not into it. I don't know if it's just because of like the color or the cut or a combo, but the cool months are pretty much wrapping up here now. So I will probably put these in storage because like, I don't think the fit of these is bad. I'm just not quite sure what I'm like nitpicking at. You know what I mean? And I enjoy a puzzle, okay? I'm the number one Professor Layton in this household. Very excited for the new game. I actually cried when the trailer came out. It was like a little bit alarming. So I'm just trying to like figure out like, What's going on? I don't know if I'm ready to make any like concrete decisions as of yet, but if you have any insights, I would really appreciate it because I don't, I don't know what it is. Like maybe it's the fact that the denim is quite heavy and thick. So maybe it's like just not as nicely like flowing as the lighter weight ones. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I like to know what's going on and I don't really feel like I know what's going on. Okie dokie, making excellent time team. We are on the second last pair of pants, I think. Like I said, this is not gonna be as monstrous as some of the other videos in this series. So this pair of jeans is very beloved to me. These are my PJ jeans. They are an indie brand from Australia. And the entire purpose of this brand is that they make jeans for people who have a waist size that is much smaller than their hips and butt size. And I feel like that's a pretty common issue and I'm really surprised that there hasn't been like another brand that has done that yet. But that is their entire thing and they are just very cool. All their size names are named after flowers. I just, I think they're cool and I can't wait to see them grow and get more popular because I feel like with my like little like marketing brain, like they are filling a real gap in the market. These are their, I think it's their Chelsea jean style, which they don't make anymore. And I haven't worn them in a while because I have been kind of enjoying like those looser, baggier styles. But just trying these on again, I'm reminded by how well these fit and how nice it is to have a pair of jeans that just like fit me so well. So even though they're not the exact kind of style I'm reaching for at the moment, these are just like such a classic pair of jeans and the fit is so amazing that I will absolutely be holding onto them. To have a pair of jeans that I have just bought and have them not have any gapping around the waist and just fit me really nicely and be like a nice quality pair of rigid denim. These are just the most amazing pair of jeans. They have a new style that's like a wider leg that I'm like really keen on, but I'm hoping they release it in the lighter wash similar to this. I'm always like stalking their page and just like seeing what they're up to because I just think they are the coolest brand. So yeah, you might not see these out and about as much at the moment just because I, this particular style, not the flavor of the month. But as soon as I put them on, I was like, <laughs> I feel kind of slay in these. <laughs> so they are definitely, definitely staying. Hear ye, hear ye, it's the last pair of pants. That's a, that's a new bit. <laughs> I haven't done that one before. Hmm. I'm a, I'm a hacker. Sometimes with the links I use, I can see how many times you clicked on them. And of like all the different clothes I talked about in the video, this pair of pants was by far the number one thing that you guys were like very much into. At least click wise, maybe you all like really hated them. So you were like hate clicking on them, but I don't think that was the case. These are from Jagger and Stone. It's like the only piece I have from them. I'm not super familiar with the brand. And admittedly, I would love these just a little bit more if they were in like a cotton fabrication because they are a polyester kind of vibe. But this cut is like so delicious. <laughs> It's like a tailored suit style of pants, but it's like really drapey, like all the way down. So it's super flattering. And like the fit on the back as well, like it's relaxed. It's not super duper tight, like 
you know, vibes, but it's like still fitted. You know what I mean? It's fitted, but it's also relaxed. Again, not a garment technician, just doing the best of my little words. These are also like a little bit like corporate girl bossy, like sleigh kind of vibes. And I would say my fashion's a little bit more like soft girl with like a sprinkle of sleigh. <laughs> so they don't factor into my outfits as much as like other bottom options, but I actually ended up asking my boyfriend to pack these and bring them to Korea. Because when I went traveling, I did Japan alone for a bit and then I met up with my mom. And then in Korea, I met up with my boyfriend. So when Max came to meet me, he was like, do you need me to bring anything? And I was like, I really feel like I'm missing another pair of pants. Can you please bring that plaid pair of pants? Because the colors I had packed were like baby blue, white, and baby pink. Those were like the main colors I had. So I was like, this will like match with all the stuff I had. And I was right. And it worked so well. And also because it was cold, even though these aren't the most breathable fabric, I didn't get like super sweaty or anything because it was cold. These have just been one of those items that have been kind of like a surprise. I always love when you get those in your wardrobe something where you're like i'm not really sure but like we'll give it a go and like we'll see and you're like we'll probably return it if it doesn't work out and then it just kind of like surprises you and fits really nicely and works really well and it just whenever that happens it's such a delight i don't know about you but when that happens to me in fashion it's just like oh this is the best feeling so yeah and with that we are all wrapped on pants we are officially only getting rid of one pair and then like a maybe like lukewarm vibe on another pair. But like we Gucci on pretty much everything else. But like I said, I'm kind of fine with that. I wasn't expecting this to be like a real big shake up. I hope it was helpful for a couple of you because yeah, shopping for pants is an actual nightmare. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lucy. And today we are going to declutter all of my skirts. We've done tops, outerwear. And honestly, this one I'm kind of dreading a bit because like I'm a skirt slash dress girly. Dresses will be next. <laughs> that will also be interesting. But I have a feeling this one is going to be a pretty intense one because all the skirts of this whole section here there's a big chunk there and I got some more out of storage as well basically I feel like some recent style revelations in terms of things I like and dislike could mean that a lot of these pieces may have a fresh revelation of like oh I actually don't like that anymore this category of skirts more than any other category has been the one where I've looked at it and been like some of these are probably gonna go. Like we're gonna need to talk about them. I don't really know where to start. We have a lot to get through. I think I'm gonna change this top to my little crop white tank that I wear literally all the time because I don't think this is gonna work with everything and it's like distracting. Okay, I think that works a little bit better and I'll scooch on back so you can see it. I think most of the skirts are like short enough that you'll be able to see them but in the event that you can't, I will put in a second clip. This skirt I got a while back and I actually featured it on this channel when I got it. It was from Aritzia. But this skirt I actually wore somewhat recently in an outfit that I really liked. You can see it's a very like simple silky kind of slip. This one is made of acetate and I have been on a little bit of like a silk spree. I mean it's not really a spree, it's like two pieces I've bought this year. But I have been actively trawling at Depop for like 100% silk pieces because I just love the way the fabric drapes. I just really enjoy it. It's very soft, it's very feminine. I personally find it quite flattering and comfortable and cool. Like wearing a silk skirt and like sitting on silk is very comfortable. In saying that, this is not silk, but I do think it's actually quite lovely quality. I really, really like it. This one's a keep, but I'll hop into the next one to continue talking about like the realization that this kind of skirt brought to me. As you can see, very similar skirt, a little bit shorter. This one is from Realization Pa. I believe it's the Voodoo skirt. I got this second hand and I believe I got it before the Aritzia one, if I'm remembering correctly. And this kind of like kicked off a little bit of a realization. That was not meant to be a pun. <laughs> the way this skirt fits and it kind of like drapes over me, I feel like is easily one of the most flattering pieces I have in my wardrobe. The material is actually very comfortable to wear and I know silk people kind of stray away from because it's like a very difficult to look after fabric. But honestly, I've had this for ages. I've washed it multiple times and I just put it on like a delicate wash in cold water. It's holding up really well and it's also secondhand. So it's also already been worn already. I get a lot of wear out of this. It's very versatile because this one just feels very like harmonious with myself to me as opposed to some other skirts which I feel like are kind of fighting me. I know that sounds like a weird way to explain it but it's not like that the skirts themselves aren't cute but it's just like they don't look right on me. They don't look natural whereas this feels really natural and very me to me. This is the top black mini skirt in my wardrobe. There's quite a few <laughs> because winter is really like the only time that I wear black in my wardrobe. And in that season, I do enjoy wearing a little black mini skirt. So uh, let's look at the rest of those. Okay, so this one, I actually am not, it's a little bit hard to see because it's black, but it's just kind of like a knit sort of fabric. I do quite like the way this one is on. I don't love it <laughs> as much as the other one, but it's sort of a different purpose. This one's a little bit more like relaxed, cozy. So I'm thinking I 
keep this one as well, but the way I'm saying that doesn't sound super confident, does it? I would like your input on this one. I think I'll put it in the maybe section. I think it is useful. I just haven't really had to use it much recently. Let's just put this in the maybe pile. I'll show you the other ones and then we can kind of like have a little think on it together. So here we have another black mini skirt. Hopefully on camera, these have some sort of differences and they don't look all exactly the same. I want to say I bought this maybe almost 10 years ago at Zara. It's like a scuba material. If anyone remembers when scuba was like kind of a thing, I have kept it the whole time because I'm like, this just fits really nicely. I mean, it's kind of hard to have these very like simple pieces not be flattering, but I've seen it. Looking at it on, I'm like, is this maybe nicer in the way it looks on me than the last one? Or maybe it's not. Oh no, I don't know what to do now. Hmm. Hmm. I knew this one was going to be a tough one. I like, I've sort of been putting off like doing anything about this section. And I've also almost been avoiding like the majority of my skirts in terms of putting outfits together as well. This one's also going to go in the maybe pile and I'm just going to put on the next one. Okie dokie, this one I am pretty sure is a Korean fashion brand. I don't remember which one, but you've probably noticed if you buy a lot of Korean fashion, sometimes they're buying like wholesale items and they don't actually replace the tag. So the tag on the item is just like a random brand that you've never heard of. But, you know, it's like a little preppy plaid. I think this is plaid. Is this plaid? I think this is a little short for me. All this kind of cut that's like more flared. It's probably a little short for my comfort. Like at the back, it's kind of getting near the danger zone. And here's the thing. I haven't fully crystallized my thoughts on this, which is fine. Cause like, I don't need to, I can still marinate on this for a while. I feel like if you've been here for like a hot minute, you'll probably know that my style is quite like girly, feminine, and like a lot of the pieces and kind of vibes that I like sort of fall into that like preppy vibe. If you're on Tumblr, like tennis skirts, since like 2013 or even earlier, I've like always been this like, Thing. and a lot of the different styles that I'm interested in. I'm not saying like no tennis skirts, no pleated skirts, but I just think some of them generally are meant to be this quite structured, like boxy look. And sometimes I just don't feel like it feels natural to wear it. Does that make sense? Like they look cute or the outfit looks cute, but it's sometimes I'm wearing them and I'm like, this is, I feel like I'm dressing up as someone who isn't me. Hopefully you have had an experience like this with clothes that you'll kind of understand because there are pieces like still within that style and aesthetic where I don't really feel like that. I think you've seen in other videos where I'm talking about colors and stuff. I'm quite confident with stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm really settled with like, oh, this color is like too bright and neon and that's like why it doesn't work. Like I, I'm settled with that concept. I'm still not like completely settled in like silhouettes and fabrics and stuff and that is fine. I have a lot of time to still figure out and play with my style. But look, the working hypothesis is I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. I, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't really like wearing it. Wow, that was a way more succinct way of me putting that. I could have just said that. I do like the pattern though. Like I like that it's not a solid black. I do enjoy that aspect, but unfortunately one single aspect of an item is, it, it's one single aspect of an item. So I think, yeah, goodbye to this one. Oh, okay. I feel like this one is a nice fun contrast to the last one. We've been doing a lot of black mini skirts and now we have a colored one and this is definitely wintry. It's like a felty kind of material. Ow. As I'm putting this on, I haven't put this on in a hot minute because like I said, I've sort of been avoiding this section of my wardrobe. I would say other than like a couple of specific ones, I haven't really been orchestrating outfits around skirts because I look at it and I'm like, I don't know if I like this. And I was like, I'll just deal with this when I do the video. So now we're doing the video, so we're dealing with it. So I haven't put this on in a while, like I said, but as I put it on, I, I actually really like it. I don't really have a lot of wintery skirts that are of lighter colors. And this is a very nice like lavendery pink. I don't have any issues with the color. And while this is like a heavier kind of felty kind of fabric, it does feel a little bit more streamlined and not like bulky. Now that I've done like half of the wardrobe in terms of clear outs and like done a little bit of thinking about what needs to kind of like go on the wish list, like particular holes I need to fill to kind of make the outfits I want to make. I do feel like this with like a kind of fitted three quarter length white knit would be so cute and give like Penelope kind of vibes, both Penelope Pitstop and also Lady Penelope from Thunderbirds. Come again next winter, I think if the skirt selection was a little bit more streamlined, I think this being one of them would be put into rotation of more outfits than it sadly was this year. I don't think this one had a fair go. Let me know if I'm like contradicting myself with these cause like, as you can see, I'm, this is a struggle one for me. But I think I like this one. Oh, uh, I'm also not looking Looking forward to talking about this one but i shouldn't have that attitude because if some of these things don't work out but i have like loved them and gotten wear out of them and you know as our queen marie kondo would say like it's good it served its purpose and you can let it go i feel like that's sort of foreshadowing for how this one's going to go 
Listen, I really love this skirt because I bought it in Japan from this J fashion brand called Anc Rouge. And I just thought it was so cute and preppy and like not a lot of J fashion silhouettes, especially like bottoms, like skirts and pants, really tend to like fit me properly or work for me. So finding one that I like and having the way it fit be not like completely cursed was like a fun moment. And I like wore this a lot and I haven't recently. I just think my style is in a little bit of a different place. And also like the cut of this is definitely meant to be a lot more of like a flared A-line, though on me is kind of a bit more fitted. And I actually put this one on recently. Like I was like, let me take that out. And, like, let me wear that. And I like put it on and I was like, no, I don't really want to wear that. And then that to me was kind of like, a, oh, I didn't really want to wear that. Mm. I think maybe I'll pop this one on Depop or something like that. But the joy of wearing it now is not really there. Like you can see it kind of like bunching up around my hips already. So yeah, I think this one might be going bye bye. This video is taking me so much longer to film because you can't really see this, but there are entire like multiple minute gaps of silence of me just like staring in the mirror being like, hmm. As a teen and like all through, in like high school and like uni and stuff, I was very much into like Tumblr, kawaii fashion, like J fashion. I was just a lot more enamored with like that kind of fashion than what seemed to be readily available to me. I grew up watching Sailor Moon and like being really into like girly princessy stuff. So it was just like exciting to see that kind of stuff online. And with like online shopping kind of becoming more accessible like as I was a teenager. And I bought my fair share of like hashtag aesthetic like pleated skirts but so many of them just like didn't fit me properly like they were just uncomfortable or they were too short the sizing and like the pieces were not really designed for my body type which is so fine but when i unexpectedly finally found one that like actually fits me and it has like a school uniform style like adjustable slider on the side so you can like adjust it to fit you properly and like the pleats like sit right and don't look weird like it's a nice quality one when i finally found this i was like this is so exciting so this one was the first one that was right for me. However, <laughs> I haven't worn this in ages. I don't know. And I hesitate to be like, oh, I'm like more mature now. And like, cause like, I don't think that's really it. I don't really think there are like styles of clothes that you can and can't wear, like depending on your age. Like I don't feel that way. But I think what I feel like is that my style has changed a lot. And you know, time tends to work a particular way. So as I've gotten older, my style has changed. And so I kind of associate this being a very like key part of my kind of younger style. Not that it was like that long ago or anything like that, but you know what I mean? This was like a pinnacle, like very exciting fashion piece for a style that really isn't mine anymore. But it feels kind of weird to like not have it because I'm like, this was so exciting. But then again, this can maybe go be exciting for someone else now. There is no outfit that I'm like Pinterest boarding that would involve this skirt at the moment. Things similar to this, similar sure, but like, I just feel like this is, this is a different Lucy's skirt. I just wanted to give this like an actual fond farewell because I think I have previously said even on this channel that this is like the perfect tennis skirt. And I do agree with that sentiment, but I also just don't think, I, I just don't think I'm gonna wear it anymore. So this one is sadly gonna be going bye bye and I'll just take it off with this very cool, flexible, zippy doodah. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of what I was just talking about before where I was like, I like things similar to this. I like elements of these kinds of skirts, but just like, this particular skirt as a whole doesn't work for me. This is a good kind of contrasting piece because I'm definitely going to keep this one. I really love the cut. I love the length. I love the color. I really like everything about the skirt because it feels very like preppy and kind of girly and princessy, but it's like a bit chill. I just find these pieces like a little bit more flexible in terms of styling. Like I have worn this multiple different ways and been happy. Like I can already workshop this into multiple different outfits that I know I'm going to be happy with. And I just love this like pistachio minty green color. Like I really like this color. This was actually from Princess Polly. I don't know if they make it anymore, sadly. So this one is a definite keep and hopefully you can kind of see like the contrasty vibes. Like I still like pastels. I still like girly vibes. I still like preppy kind of vibes, but it's just like a little bit different. You know? And this skirt, at least now, in our Lord's year of 2023 in Libra season, this skirt feels like me when I wear it. Okay, this is another one that, like the Ankh Rouge one, is one of those ones where I bought it being like, I like this thing. And then I like put it on recently and I was like, do I though? And I think it's worth potentially mentioning as well, quite a few of the skirts that I really liked in terms of aesthetic points and for style were from like Japanese or Korean fashion brands. More recently when I went to Japan and Korea, even though I love and take a lot of inspiration from Japanese fashion and Korean fashion, I'm way more selective about the pieces I buy because a lot of those pieces just aren't made with me in mind. And that's fine. And I've always said that. But again, now with online fashion being more accessible, I'm like, oh, I actually don't have to like settle. Ooh, but now that I've found options that like 
I'm stylistically interested in but also like work for me like sizing wise and like shape wise I'm kind of like well why would I you know kind of go back and roll the dice with things that often aren't quite right for me you know and I used to get questions on videos all the time of like the Korean fashion videos where people were like well how do you find the sizing when you go and shop in Japan or how do you find the sizing when you go and shop in Korea and I'm like well things like fit but that doesn't necessarily mean they fit well and I would say that's still accurate. I still really like those fashion styles and I take a lot of inspiration from them but I think I used to like see the outfits and be like oh that's such a cute outfit I want to wear that outfit but the way the outfit looks on that person isn't necessarily how it's going to look on me and that is completely fine and I've like known that for a while like this skirt is from a Japanese brand this skirt has a super cute little flare which would create a really super cute little silhouette except that I feel like I already am quite blessed in the hippie department. They're sort of like hiding them but accentuating them at the same time. You know what I mean? This particular cut was not necessarily designed with my shape in mind which doesn't really matter if you don't really care about those things but I feel better in a different one. I feel like I'm definitely over justifying this. But that's the kind of gal I am. Thinky, thinky, she should have minimal caffeine drinky kind of gal. I have noticed as I'm wearing it even just for this short period it does like bunch up a little bit at the back. So the skirt is cute and it fits and on paper there's technically nothing wrong with this but it doesn't like fit in my heart and my soul currently at this time. So I will be saying goodbye. <laughs> Why is this video so hot? Okay this is another one that I'm on the fence on. I have worn this skirt a lot. I've gotten a lot of joy out of it. I think it fits me really nicely. It's nice and drapey and whatever and I really like it. Um but Clearly the way I'm talking about it, it seems like I'm undecided. <laughs> I feel like it just kind of serves a similar like a gap in the wardrobe to the other blue one. Kind of not really. This one feels a little bit more formal. This one feels a little bit more casual. But I feel like the way I've styled this previously has almost been like sort of sporty. <laughs> I don't know, the material of this skirt gives like school volleyball kind of skirt. I'm trying to work on a hypothesis. I feel like a lot of you could just be like, you don't actually need a hypothesis. You can just like make a decision. But I don't know, I'm the kind of person where I'm like, I like to know why. I like to kind of work it out because I feel like if I work it out, that can like help me in the future. You know what I mean? Because maybe there's a reason why. And if I know that reason, then I can avoid repeating it in the future and save myself some money and time. Because I still like preppy clothing and I would say this sort of fits into preppy, but I would say this is almost like school sporty preppy as opposed to like gossip girl upper east side preppy you know what i mean like they're sort of like they're in the same family they hold hands but they are sort of different like this skirt also serves a very similar function to this skirt but i would pretty much pick this skirt like every time over this one even though i've worn this a lot and i like the way it looks but i'm like when when am I wearing this now? But just like to mention again, there are multiple instances of me just either talking to myself in a completely like stream of conscious nonsensical way or just staring in silence looking at the mirror, uh, which I've cut out. So, <laughs> oh, this video is such a struggle. Again, maybe it's a case of like this skirt got really good use and you know, many happy returns to those memories, but I don't think it's going to serve me in the same way anymore. Ah, that's weird. I really like this skirt. But yeah, I think maybe I'm donating this one. That's wild. I didn't know if that was going to happen today, but I think it is. Okay, cool. If this video could have like a fanfic tag, it would just be angst. The other videos, I just already had like some preconceived like decisions that I was just kind of waiting until the video to do. But this one is like, I'm like working through it all like completely live, so sick. I just wanted to take a quick break to show you a couple of skirts that I know I'm keeping. This is like a little white maxi skirt that has little flower broidery lace kind of details on it. It's like a mid-rise mermaid vibe. I wore it last year for Christmas with like this top I think actually and I just really liked the combo. I thought it was like a fun sort of summery Christmas thing. It's just an Australian thing to wear white at Christmas. Anyway, I like this skirt. I'm keeping it, there's not much to say. <laughs> Another one that I am definitely keeping, I actually got this one kind of recently, but then I put it in storage because I guess I assumed it was like a summery item, but then I was like, but it's a long denim skirt, so it's sort of like actually kind of an all year round transitional sort of vibe. But anyway, it's a little bit wrinkled because I just got it out of storage, but I got this in Japan on my most recent trip. I only bought a couple of clothing pieces on the trip, but this one I just thought was really cute. I also just like it because it's quite like a unique piece. I know like midi and maxi denim skirts are popular at the moment, but I haven't really seen any like this with like almost a sort of like vintage -y vibe to it. But the way it sits is so cute because it has this kind of, is this called a yoke? This, this detailing. And it's in the back as well. Like as I put it on, I was like, ooh, I could wear it with this and I could wear it with this. And that's always a really good feeling to have with any piece that you're like adding into your wardrobe. So yeah, this is a definite keep. Yay. Okay, spirits restored. <laughs> Optimism resumed. Back to the angst. 
Uh, this is another skirt that I only got semi-recently, I would say. It's just one where I'm like, I understand completely why I got it and why I think it was going to be a good idea, but has it actually panned out that way? I plugged in certain elements into the equation of why this would be a good piece, but there were maybe some like missing elements in that equation that make the result what it is. Basically, I'm 90% sure the reasoning for why I saw this skirt was because I really liked the little black silk mini skirt. And I was like, wouldn't it be great if I had this in like a slightly different variable? But here's the thing, having a mini version of this is not really the same vibe. This is a little bit more of a conservative kind of vibe. And I have to start this up, I did like a TikTok where I was like making an outfit to go with this skirt. And like, I just was wearing it and I was like, this doesn't feel like, no, I, mm, mm. And like, if we're gonna bring back in our old pound color theory, wearing black and like darker colors don't work for me or don't even bring me personally as much joy as like kind of more lighter, brighter sort of colors. But I feel like dark colors in like little, doses like in a mini skirt works really well but when it's like a big block of dark color I don't think I don't think it's giving I just feel like it doesn't do a lot for me I just feel a little bit silly I understand how we got here but now that we're here I don't think that was actually the right call so I do think I'm going to sell this one it is a really beautiful skirt it's like 2000s or 90s even uh, DKNY 100% silk, lovely gorgeous skirt. I just feel like I'm not gonna get wear out of it in my wardrobe. A little bit of sweet, but I know that someone else will get way more wear out of this and love it a lot more than I'm currently loving it. Okay, I have been really working my way up to this one because this is another one where I'm like, oh, I feel silly. Hopefully you'll back me up because I think I know what I need to do even though it's sad. This is actually quite funny now that I've been through this like decluttering process. <laughs> Because this is not only a pleated skirt, which we've talked about a little today in quite a like boxy kind of vibe, but it's also like, I think almost exactly the same neon-y pink color as the jumper. So um, maybe that's a hint because it's got a few elements that don't work. I got this second hand. I want to say it was like less than $50. It's Mew Mew. And I really, really wanted to love this. And now that I've had it in my wardrobe and I've thought about it, I'm like, this, uh, I don't really think this works for me but hopefully I'll be able to sell it either on Depop or to a consignment store or something like that because it is a really beautiful piece. I'm sad about it a little bit because it's like, oh, bummer. And I did toy with the idea of maybe getting it tailored and like taking out some of the fabric and making it a bit more streamlined. I just, mm, like every time I look at this skirt, I'm like, oh, maybe if I altered it like this or like that or like that. And then I'm like, okay, that's actually like a lot of alterations. It sounds like a completely different skirt that isn't this skirt. And like, I could do that, but also like, I feel like it's, really cute as it is but maybe just not for me looks so good on the internet but once i looked at it on myself i was like that is not what i envisioned <laughs> and like i know i'm like a self-deprecating legend but you know what it is okay that i make mistakes sometimes like my intentions were good and pure with this you know so oh well i have nearly decluttered this skirt a couple of times but every single did i just break the zip Oh no, I just broke the zip. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it then. I bought this in Japan over 10 years ago when I was like in middle school. And I just wore the skirt so much and it just fits really nicely. But as of recent, I've been like, I don't know if I really wanna wear this. It's a little bit of like a darker, more mid-tone indigo-y sort of denim than I typically tend to wear. Like it's a nice skirt, but also I'm kind of like, I, I haven't worn it in ages. This might finally be the time where I don't have this in my wardrobe anymore, which is, yeah, this has been around for ages and it's not a sentimental item, but it's like, my brain is kind of like, but you enjoyed wearing this and you loved wearing this for so long. Like, why would you get rid of it? And I'm kind of like, well, maybe I don't, maybe the season has passed, you know, I, a reason in a season and maybe that the season no longer reason. No, that doesn't. <laughs> maybe the zipper breaking was a sign because the fact that the zipper broke and I was like, no, I don't know if I really want to get that fixed. Then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Whereas if I like loved it, I'd be like, oh, I need to get that fixed. Like I should get that fixed, but I don't. So maybe I, yeah, maybe this one goes bye-bye. <laughs> Nice, my brain is melting. This video of filming has taken way longer than I expected. I knew it, I said it in the last one. I knew this one was gonna be cursed and it has been. But okay, I thought I was definitely gonna declutter this one, but now that I'm wearing it, I'm like, oh, hang on. And I bet you're loving the analogies in this video. So we're gonna do another algebraic equation analogy where I can see the elements that I like in this and why I have it. It's a beautiful baby blue color and it is this like silky shiny material and also kind of like a slinky mermaidy vibe. I like a lot of those things, however, 
This one at the back has like a little bit of bunching and stuff just because it isn't really made for my figure. It didn't quite have the, the dumpy in mind. So <laughs> and I actually have gotten quite a bit of wear out of this. I actually used to wear it at my like corporate job, which it's sort of like a little bit dressy, I suppose for that environment, but I would wear it with like a white like knit or like a jumper or like a long sleeve shirt. And I kept it because I was like, it's still really pretty and like it is. And it actually reminds me so much of the first skirt that I showed you, but just like, a longer version and like a slightly different shade of blue. And I do like it, but I don't love the fit on the back. And unlike some of the other ones where I'm like, okay, there's like multiple elements that like don't actually work and I wouldn't style it. I d do actually quite like this one a bit. I haven't really reached for it as much just cause I feel like it sort of is a bit more formal. It's longer, it's like a shiny material and the quality, like the way it fits and stuff. So I am gonna say bye bye to this one. Not obsessed with the material. It does get a little bit sweaty and it just looks like quite ill fitting at the back. And I don't love that and I always notice it when I wear it. Those like few little things make me not want to wear it because it really bothers me. <laughs> but like style color design wise, if this like fit me properly and preferably was of a nicer fabric, I would keep it, you know? Okay, we have another one that I'm not super decided on because I was just like having a look at like kind of the progress we've made and like cool weather wise, it's nice to have some options that are not pants <laughs> that are a little bit longer so you don't always have to do like a mini skirt with tights, which I really enjoy doing, but every now and then it is nice to have just like something a little bit longer. And this color is really nice. It is quite bright, but it's a little bit more of like a purpley pinky fuchsia bright rather than like a neon pink bright. I know they're very similar, but like it's a little bit different. Style wise, I feel like this is sort of in a little bit of a fun area. It's kind of one of those pieces where I'm like, this is really nice individually. I also have, <laughs> let me show you, these are basically all the same skirt in different colors um, and they're also very similar. They're like midi skirts with slits in them. So I have four essentially of the same skirt and I wore these, specifically this one, but also these two. I wore them a lot for a period of time and specifically I wore them with a cropped graphic t-shirt which is cute and the outfits are cute and I really enjoyed wearing them but I don't really see myself wearing that exact combination now. You know when you go out and buy something and you see something and you're like, wow, that's really cool. And you sort of think about how you're gonna style it with the things you already have. Of course there are like exceptions to that rule, but like generally you try and think of like, how is this gonna incorporate into my wardrobe? And a good piece you can imagine styling it in a few different ways. If I was shopping now, I don't know if I would be able to see these worn in multiple different ways for the wardrobe I have, but at the time when I got them, I could. Do you know what I mean? And it feels silly because I obviously liked them so much at one point in time that I bought it in multiple colors, which I don't do that often. And I still really like all of these colors and I like the way the pieces look on me, but I'm just a bit like, mm, like I like all the colors and I like how all of those pieces look on me in a vacuum. I'm just not sure if like, I like how they work into the rest of my wardrobe. Yeah, I don't know what to do. And here's the thing, I could always just be like, oh, well, I'll just put them in storage and like bring them out next year. I don't know if that really solves the problem. I guess I'll try one of the other ones on just so you can see, because they are slightly different to this one. So this is what the blue one looks like. This is the one I've gotten the most wear out of. <sighs> I've just been standing here for multiple minutes, just like looking at it and like having a think. I, I'm just gonna put this in the maybe pile for the moment. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope some of my suffering is contributing to some of your enjoyment because I, I'm on struggle straight with this video. The sun is fading from the sky, but we're ending on a positive note because I really like this skirt. This is a denim maxi skirt from Lucan and I think they still sell it, which is great. It's like a little mermaidy kind of moment and it's good. My brain has turned to absolute mush with this video. I, it was, and also a lot of your comments so far have actually been really helpful. So thank you so much. I appreciate you for joining me on this odyssey to my closet. <laughs> I have worn this one quite a lot recently. I know these like denim midi maxi skirts have been kind of on trend. And admittedly, a lot of the midi maxi denim skirts I've been seeing are quite like rigid denim and it's quite a like, a blocky kind of shape. How many times have I said blocky in this video? Is blocky the word? That doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Whatever. Just the way a lot of them have been cut, I'm kind of like, I don't know if that would like really work for me. But this one has a little bit of stretch to it. So it's a bit more of like a bodycon, like figure hugging kind of vibe. And I think that interpretation of the trend works for me as well as the one I showed you before, which is more of like a full, like vintagey kind of skirt. And I think if you genuinely enjoy a trend, it's fun because if it's a thing you already like and it's just more popular, like at the moment, bows are really big and I'm like, fabulous, I love bows. So much additional bow merchandise on the market than is normal and I always like it, so this is great. But equally, there are a bunch of trends where I'm like, 
That will not be working for me and I will not be engaging, but happy for everyone else. But long denim skirt is a pretty broad trend. There's a lot of different variations you can have in it. And I like the variations I have, so yay. Okay, well, that's it. That's everything. We are done. I'm done. You're done. We're done. It's done. I think we got rid of more than half, which I wasn't expecting, but like kind of was to be expected considering the way I was like, let me just avoid that section of my closet when I'm putting outfits together. I hope this was helpful, entertaining, maybe a useful sleep aid. And tune in next time because we're doing dresses. I don't think it will be as angsty as this one because I like a lot of my dresses and they're fun. But because they're like, you know, one outfit all together, I feel like the dress video will be more of a like princess dress up game kind of vibe. So I'm keen for that. Okie dokie, here we go. Finale time, baby. Everyone limb it up, warm it up. Hi everyone, it's Lucy, and today we are here for the final part in what has been an enormous wardrobe declutter, closet clear out sort of series. Today I will be trying on all of the dresses that I own and we're just gonna see which ones are gonna stay. I'm actually keen for this one, mainly because it's the last one and I'm so close to being finished, but mainly because today is gonna be like a flash game of trying on different princess dresses like Doll Divine. Was it Doll Divine? I spent a lot of time on that website. I get to try on and chat about some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and just make sure it's nicely curated and compact. It's in line, you know, with my personal style, style philosophy. That sounds a little, a little wonky. I wouldn't describe myself as a minimalist or like a capsule wardrobe girly. I don't really put those like limits or parameters on my personal style and my wardrobe. I will tell you that I do get stressed out with clutter. You know, mentally knowing that you have options and you don't like some of those options or don't really feel good about some of those options, that's what I'm trying to do and eliminate. And we have very successfully done it for quite a significant portion of my wardrobe. Like it's feeling streamlined, it's feeling purposeful. I've been really enjoying styling my outfits recently and I feel like that is a very good sign. But today we are going to try on all of the dresses and I was gonna say there's not too many, but there's there's, there's a few. And there are a couple in my eyesight that I am definitely on the fence about. So hopefully you can help me. We can talk it through together and see which of the dresses are gonna stay. Also a little mini disclaimer, I have mentioned this in other videos, but as much as I enjoy declutter and organization content myself, I think it's important to mention that I have a slightly different relationship as a consumer to clothing because it's part of my job. And I know you all have big, beautiful, juicy brains that are capable of critical thinking, but just something I want to mention, let's keep it in the back of the noggin as we continue on. And let's get ready to try on a bunch of pretty princess dresses because I'm a pretty, pretty little princess. <laughs> and I know you're very astute, you're very clever. You saw that I'm already wearing a dress. And that's right, I am. <laughs> this is the first dress of the video. It is from Faithful the Label. I just got it off Depop a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, maybe two months ago. The passage of time, question mark. I've already gotten a whole lot of wear out of it. I wore it on my birthday. I'm pretty sure Faithful the Label is an Australian brand. They make really beautiful kind of summery dresses. And I've definitely been a little bit more conscious about buying pieces that are practical for me. Because something I noticed as I've been doing this process and filming these videos is a lot of the pieces that I don't end up reaching for or I don't end up liking. If it's not a preference issue, it's usually a practicality issue. And it is frequently very hot where I live and I frequently come into situations where I want something kind of girly, casual, a little bit dressy, but something that's still gonna be comfortable to wear. And this dress is the type of like little versatile, spring, summery, kind of lightweight dress that can be dressed up or down. It's the type of neckline I like, it's the type of colors I like. I love a little puff sleeve. It's like girly and princessy, but not like too girly and princessy. And here is the next dress. This one's a little bit interesting because this one survived the last declutter, but it was like on the fence. I was like, I'm not sure about it. And here we are again, and I have developed my thoughts and I think, I think I'm gonna pass this one on. And the main reason is that this one, honestly, in terms of practicality, isn't that. It's not very practical. I love the color and the style and I also like the shape, but the shape is what is the problem. And the issue is the bodycon-ness of this. And it's not that it's bodycon because I don't really have an issue with bodycon. I actually quite like bodycon in certain scenarios. This dress is like a cotton elastane kind of mix. So it's like a little bit of a stretchy cotton. So I like that it's cotton. It's nice and light. It's not too hot to wear. But little fact about me, uh, I like to go places and do things. And this dress is the exact kind of dress where it just like rides up and rides up and rides up and rides up and it's just like I'm always finding myself like pulling it down and that's just a case of like the dress design with the material meeting my body type and shape but I can't really do things in this dress and I do just want that type of versatility in my wardrobe but I find myself not reaching for it in casual situations because I'm often doing things like 
going for a walk with someone or like taking public transport and I just know that's gonna annoy me. So I'm better off at passing this on to someone who's gonna get more use out of it. Okay, this next one was another one that I was on the fence about a little while back. I couldn't really decide, but I feel like I have made up my mind now. I have the clarity I need. I think this little kind of cottage corey girly sort of number is quite cute. I got it off YesStyle ages ago. The fit is not amazing, but it's pretty good. I don't think it looks horrendous. I can't hate on the silhouette. However, this dress is made from quite a sweaty material and it gets really, really hot. It's actually really hot today. And this dress for me, in terms of the vibe, is definitely more of a spring summer vibe, which also happens to be the sweatiest season. And I have worn this out a couple of times and I've been like, this outfit is cute, but I'm always like, ugh, it's very sweaty. Like, I hope we can go inside to the aircon soon. I feel confident in my ability now to find pieces that are as cute and girly pop as this, but are also not as sweaty. <laughs> and my decision to say adieu to this one was kind of cemented when I got this one because it's a very like similar vibe. It's like a girly floral, short, casual sort of sundress vibe. They're a little bit different, okay, I know that. But these would be worn in very similar situations. And why would I wear this one that gives me sweat when I could wear this one that brings me joy. So yeah, it's just another practicality element. We're going into the hot months. It's very front of mind. It's actually very hot today. <laughs> Call me picky, but if something has got a little spot in my wardrobe, I need to make sure that I'm actually using it. Otherwise it just creates a mental clutter in my brain that stresses me out. So this one is going bye-bye. Don't mind the way I am wearing and styling this because I'm not exactly wearing the correct undergarments for this, nor would this be how I would style it. But I just got this dress recently and I haven't worn it yet because it's only just started getting hot. And this is very much like summer TM vibes. This one was me taking a calculated risk on Depop and giving something a go. This is a little tube dress from Jeff Avenue. And I'm not 100% sure if it suits me, but I haven't really played with styling it yet. But it was a calculated Depop risk because I wanted to try it and there isn't really anywhere in person that I can try this on. And it was much cheaper than buying it new from the website. So I figure if I play around with it and style it up and I don't love it, I do think I would be able to successfully repop this. It's just a bit different for me. Um, I don't normally wear strapless stuff. And I, again, I'm not wearing like the right stuff for it, like exactly. But I don't know if you can see the pattern is like flowers and berries and it's lots of like cute little pastel colors. But I thought this could work well for any like very summery scenarios or potentially with like a white linen shirt on top or a little lightweight denim jacket, both of which I have and I like. It's a mix of organic cotton and elastane. So it's quite breathable. It doesn't really feel like super sweaty or anything. If this dress was made of polyester, like disaster zone. I just, I'm not used to seeing this silhouette vibe on me, but I do think I will be attempting to style this up for an occasion very soon. So that will kind of be the make or break. I think if I play around with it and I can't make it work, then that would be, I don't know. I'm making a lot of statements in these videos about like what I do like, what I don't like and making decision based off that, but I don't have it all figured out. And this is an example of that. So pending thoughts on this one, but I'm going to keep it because I did just get it and I still want to play around with it and style it. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling optimistic. I find that's generally a good way to go, but I'm not like, it's not concrete. It's cotton. <laughs> Stupid joke. Okay, this dress is very random. I got it off the Iconic like years ago, maybe five plus years ago, like quite a while ago. And I've held onto it because this dress has had enough occasions where it's come in clutch it's come in handy because there's something about the elements of this dress that just make it work for certain types of situations. That sounds really weird and nebulous. This dress is very comfy to wear. It's very easy to wear. This is the kind of dress where it's like, you know, it's a cute little slightly dressy dress, but it's still formal enough and like workplace appropriate enough that it works for a lot of scenarios. And I just always felt very comfortable wearing this dress in those scenarios because it's got a nice length, like the neckline, you can kind of unbutton it, but you can also button it up to be, you know, more modest. Like it's just that kind of dress that's useful for those kinds of scenarios. I haven't been in those scenarios for a hot minute, so I haven't really needed to wear this dress. But I don't know, every now and then there is like a scenario or a circumstance where I need to be like, in a semi-professional sort of environment. And I need to be a little bit more dressy than I normally am, but it's not like cocktail party dressy. It's like formal corporate dressy. I still really like this dress on me. Like, even though it's quite different to a lot of what I wear now, I think the test would be if a scenario came up where this would be a candidate and I chose something else instead, then that would be a signal. But I, I 
think I might keep it. Okay, I am definitely keeping this dress. I treated myself to it last year and I ummed and ahed <laughs> over buying this dress. And as much as I talk about fashion and clothing and stuff, it's not that often that I am so like taken with something and I'm really like, you know, thinking about it for a long period of time. I had seen it online and then I had an event coming up. So I like went in to try on a few things just to like see what I thought. And then I tried this one on and I was like, oh, damn it, I really like it. <laughs> and I didn't buy it and I thought about it and I waited. And it was actually my mum who was like, okay, you clearly have thought about it a lot and you seem to really like it and you are still talking about this. like multiple weeks on so how about you just buy it it was yeah definitely a purchase i thought about for quite a while but it has worked out i'm getting the wear out of it i'm just glad that it worked out because i am always worried that if i think about a purchase a lot and then it doesn't work out that it's like a little bit more soul crushing than normal i love the silhouette on the sleeve too there's just so many good things about this dress i really like this dress okay yippee <laughs> Moving on. And here we have a surprise, another kind of girly, princessy, summery little sundress. This one is from a Korean brand, and I can't remember the exact name of the brand, but it was on Code Book, and I will try and link it down below if it's still available. And I think this one is maybe made of like a viscose blend or something, so it's quite lightweight and very breezy. I feel like it's the type of effortless sort of sundress that you see like the French girly brands doing. I feel like it's that kind of vibe. And I actually just realized that I did not zip it up properly. Oh, it's getting caught. Maybe we just leave it. Okay, the zip is caught. Doesn't normally do that, but I don't want to bust it and ruin it. Uh, depending on the aftermath of that after this video, that could change what I do. Uh, but no, I do think I am keeping this dress. And not to bring this dress up again, but I feel like, you know, the comparison is again there. But I feel like this one is like a flirtier kind of vibe as opposed to this one, which is a little bit more like princessy vibes. So they're different, but they're also similar. And they're both in my closet because they have those similar traits of things that I like. <laughs> Another keeper. One of these is not like the others. One of these is not the same. This is weirdly spooky <laughs> for my wardrobe. It's very different to the other ones. We're kind of moving into like some of the wintery options. I primarily have spring summery dresses, hence the mostly consistent pastel color palette till now. And I wore this recently for Halloween to go see a movie. And I was like, this is the perfect like casual Halloween look. But I partially in my mind was like, oh, I'll probably declutter this one because it's not something I really rage for. But when I wore it recently, I was like, wow, this is actually really cute and I really like it. It's something a little bit different, but obviously still has similar elements of things I like. And I picked this dress for a reason and it's very nice quality as well. And so it was interesting because I, I don't really reach for it a lot. But when I do wear it for the types of occasions where I require a little black dress or something a little bit spooky, I really like it. So I think maybe I'll keep it. I probably will pop it into storage because this is a little bit more like a wintry item for me. It sparks joy for those particular occasions. That's the key phrase we're searching for. Not that I'm like doing this strictly the Marie Kondo way, but she's got, she's got some points. I mean, one of us has a Netflix show and it's not me. So I, I'm gonna take her tips <laughs> and use them where they're handy. And this does spark joy for spooky occasions. While we're on the kind of wintry spooky train, this is another dress that's quite different for me. I'm not sure if when I say different for me, I just mean like dark colors or including black. <laughs> but even in like silhouette, this is like a baby doll kind of swing dress, which is also pretty different for me. And I wore this quite a few times in the cooler months. I've done it like, like this, just plain, or also with a belt and with tights and without tights and whatnot. So I found it, you know, quite versatile, quite fun. The fabric is nice, it's, it's comfy. It's just, it's just a little bit different. I don't know, I'm very much in like the spring summer mindset now. So it's kind of like weird putting this on because I'm like, why am I wearing this? So mentally I am no longer here, but I did enjoy wearing this. I will keep it around for the next winter season and hopefully I like it and enjoy it as much next year. That's the hope, that's always the hope that the objects we acquire will continue to serve us. Huzzah. I believe this is the last of the girly pop sundresses of the short variety. <laughs> this one was like such a good depop find. This is from For Love and Lemons. It's the Jackson dress. I think it's one of their best sellers. I had this dress on my wish list for the longest time because it has so many things that I really like and look for in cute little girly pop dresses. And I'm excited that it's warming up again because it's like the perfect spring vibe. Uh, I do think though, minor criticism, I do love it and I'm keeping it, but I do think potentially it's like just a little shorter 
than I would like. Super minor nitpick. And it like kind of depends because sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, that's too short. And then other times, like depending on how I kind of like adjust it, I look at it and I'm like, it's fine. Like that. If I like bring the neckline up, I don't, I'm like, that's too short. But if it like sits lower, then I feel like it's fine. And I realize it's like, we're talking about that much difference in space. I don't know, am I just like overthinking it and it's actually like a completely fine length and not weird? Or would like putting an extra like ruffle that's like that big help me out? Or am I just like Delulu and it's completely fine? Uh, uh, I don't know, I think I'm overthinking it. I, I'm an optimizer. I do like the dress though. I mean, if we don't focus on this though, if I just come forward, like it's so cute. Like the neckline with the frills and like the puff and the little bow tie. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> mm, yeah. This is like so, so cute. But let me know your thoughts, please. Thank you. Don't mind the undergarment situation here being a little wonky, um, but this is a slightly longer sundress. Can you see it if I back up, maybe? I'll just get in. Is that, that's good, yeah? <laughs> this dress is from Reformation. I got it secondhand at a charity shop for $25. I think it retails for somewhere between 200 to 300. I'm very satisfied with that because I do think this is actually really beautiful quality and a really nice dress. It's just like a little lavendery, lilac-y gingham. It kind of is very like a picnic coated dress, but I don't exclusively wear it to picnics. I do sometimes layer it over like a little white t-shirt or something just for a little more sun coverage, okay? But yeah, I think I've had this dress for going on almost four years. I still like it a lot. I would be really keen to try some more pieces from Reformation, because I know a lot of people really like Reformation. Problem is that it's just, it's not in Australia. And the pieces are not inexpensive either, with returns potentially not being an option or being very much a hassle slash expensive. It's the kind of brand that I would like to explore more of because it seems to have a lot of stuff that I would like. It's just a little tricky, you know? So yeah, howdy. I feel like these straps on this are a little bit wonky and I'm not wearing the right undergarments for this but I like this maxi dress. I just, again, it's been a hot minute since I've worn some of these things because I swear to you, last week, chilly, cardigans, jumpers, cold. Pretty much as of two days ago, sweating. Fans on high, putting blankets away because they are no longer needed. So it wasn't until a couple of days ago that these dresses would really have been options that I would have been wearing, but this is this dress that was astute. This dress is from Princess Polly. I believe it is called the Curtis maxi dress. It's got some little purple flowers, got some little orange flowers. I'm not really an orange girl, but you know, like little tiny orange flowers. Like I'm tolerant, I'm accepting. And I feel like the print and like the color is very casual, but then the silhouette and the fit is like kind of dressy. It's like all the way to the floor and doing like a bit of a mermaid-y sort of moment. I have like here, you can see. The only thing about this dress is I took it on holiday last year to Cairns or North Queensland. And I went out to dinner with my boyfriend and then we kind of decided we would go to a bar, like a club. <laughs> if you're from Cairns or if you've been to Cairns, we decided to go to Gilligan's. The bottom, you can't really see because I did a pretty good job of getting it out, but there's like kind of a slight gray stain from like the wet goo on the floor of that bar. So there's that. But also, yeah, you can't really tell because it's all like kind of pleated and ruffled around there. So you, it, you can barely see it. But I know the sin is documented. I'm just having a look to see because I was just trying to think about what other like dresses I have that are similar to this. And I don't think I really do. I have another one, which I'm about to show you, but I'm more on the fence about that one. That one's a bit more of a, a controversial pick. Whereas I've already worn this and now I like it and it's cute. It's just, it's like a bit drama. It's a bit more like, Wow, wow, wow. Although, <laughs> I have my eyes on this particular dress from Realization Pa, and there are a couple of them on Depop. So, if you're seeing this video and you're from Australia, please don't buy it yet, maybe. I mean, you can if you want it more than I do. So, it's kind of similar to this, except it's made of silk, and you know how much I love a good silk. But I don't know exactly which size I should get, and I'm still deciding on it. But I have been thinking about it for at least six weeks. So let me know your thoughts. So that's something to consider. But for now, this is cute and I'm gonna keep it. Yay. Okay, once again, I'm not wearing the ideal undergarments for this dress, but I have a mild dilemma about this dress. This is one of those like House of Sunny dresses. I feel like a lot of people are ragging on the green one, the hot, 
Hockney dress, the one that Kendall Jenner wore, for being very like micro trendy. That's a debate that we're not going to get into today, but I do think it's a shame that some people would have that dress and they like it, but they don't want to wear it because a pocket of the internet thinks it's like overdone. Because if you go outside <laughs> into like public, I don't think I've ever seen a single House of Sunny green dress in public in person. I don't think I've ever seen it once. So I definitely don't think it's like oversaturated. <laughs> there is also a high chance that living in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia would not have the highest percentage of House of Sunny Hockney dress purchases and wearers. Anyway, tangent, that's not really the point. This is like the Hockney dress, but it's in the blue crush, summer crush. But when I saw this colorway and this pattern online with like the little hibiscus flowers and it's kind of like retro vintagey vibes and this color is like, I love this color, like this baby blue color and like the matcha minty green color. This has a lot of things going for it. Even like the neckline is really nice, but I just, there's something, I don't know. This is another example of the problems of living on a giant island where there are a lot of things that you just can't see or try on in person and are kind of hard to get. So if you like, you know, take the plunge, you bite the bullet and you get it, when it gets here, it could be not really what you want exactly. Or you, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I didn't know exactly what the material would feel like and now that I have it it's like a synthetic-y like fluffy kind of material <laughs> which I don't hate I don't love it I don't hate it but it's a little bit of an odd choice because it's like a fluffy material that keeps heat and this in other aspects of design and vibe is a sundress I guess House of Sunny is a UK brand so their summer is maybe not quite as humid as my summer. The other thing is I'm not sure the fabric and like the drape of it is necessarily the most flattering to me personally. And flattering is not the be all and end all, but, but I think the intention of this dress is to look a particular way. And I don't think it necessarily gives that effect on me, maybe, if that makes more sense. I think that's a better way to explain it. I think the back is fun. It's like one of the fun details of this dress with like three holes. Um, I don't love that you can see my bra. I think I would have to wear something, you know, sticky, perhaps. I've only worn this out once. And the time I wore it, I was having a really strong allergic reaction on my face. <laughs> and so it was hard for me to feel, you know, particularly slay or beautiful because I was like, why are my eyes swelling? I wouldn't say it was a good judge of experience of like, do I like this dress or not? But we also know I'm an overthinker. So maybe I need to give it some more time to marinate in the wardrobe and see how we go. I feel like this would be a very fun thing to wear to like the beach or for like a summery beachy vibe. You know, like going out for drinks, sitting with some sunglasses at four o'clock with like a nice spritzy cocktail. Like that's the vibe I, envision. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm not sure if I've quite what my concern is. I think we're maybe getting somewhere around there, but I also could be overthinking it and it looks fine. I really like the color a lot and I like the vibe a lot. I'm just a baby. I'm just a girl in the bedroom. Okay, a little bit of a vibe shift. We've kind of moved away from the beach and back. Well, you can still wear this at the beach, but you know what I mean? This is more of a an all-rounder rather than a holiday special. I feel like I've talked about this dress in a bunch of videos, but uh, this dress I really like. I also have pretty good memories in this dress. Not that I'm like a good memories equals keeping clothing item kind of person, but a uh, little bit, <laughs> little tiny bit. I bought this in Thailand from a brand called Pomelo. I like the silhouette, love a butterfly sleeve, love a butterfly sleeve. How good are butterfly sleeves? And this is one that I tend to wear a little bit more in the cooler months, just because like the black elements on the dress tie into my more wintry types of accessories. And also it is like a, I think it's a polyester, which, you know, it can get a little bit sweaty at times. This one, not as sweaty as some, it could be more sweaty, but in those cooler months when it's not quite as summery and humid, uh, I do get quite a bit of wear out of this. An occasion where I'm going to pick this dress does tend to come up like multiple times in a season. So yeah. Okay. I haven't worn this dress in a hot minute. And when I first put it on, I was like, what? when did I ever, what? And then I realized that I usually style this with like a nice big belt. This dress is definitely one of the dresses where every time I've done a clear out, I've been like, maybe, maybe this one, but then I'm like, oh no, but like it, it was really useful you know, or like, oh, but like, 
the print has cute flowers on it and like those things are true but I do, I, as I'm wearing this now, I don't, yeah, I think this one is maybe gonna go bye-bye. It has elements of my style, but it's like practical and appropriate in like workplace situations. Cause it's like a little bit colorful, but it's still like long and mostly covered. You know what I mean? But now I even think that if I was in a situation like that again, I wouldn't pick this. I would pick something else. You know, it was good for a reason and a season. I can see why I picked it, but I don't, I don't feel like I want to style this or I'm not particularly excited about it. It doesn't spark joy. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye. Okay, I just popped the next dress on and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you for a moment and I might cut this. But also, hey, why not? Um I take the little little the little yum yums to uh, keep me from becoming pregante against my will. Stunning. Love bodily autonomy like that. But I don't know if it's just me. Because <laughs> everyone is different, but I feel like as I get towards the end of that period before I begin the release of the lining. <laughs> I'm talking around this so weirdly. If we were talking about this in person and it wasn't on the platform, I would be a lot more direct. I wouldn't be kind of using weird euphemisms. I don't know, I just, if I'm being honest, it's like the time of the month where I'm not feeling like the bodycon option is going to be the first option I pick. And so when I went to put this on, I was like, well, I don't know how, if how I feel about this today is going to be how I would feel about it another day. And the decision making process, like, I just, I'm just trying to be candid. I was looking at this and I was like, I don't know if I want to do this today. My brain chemicals are probably not being as charitable and as fabulous and nice as I would like them to be. And they probably would be. On another day. But I also think it's good sometimes for my brain to do big boy brain and you know do it and it's actually completely fine and I am gonna look at this footage and be like come on brain what the heck did that make any sense at all not sure anyway uh this dress <laughs> but I do like this dress I love a baby blue it's a very easy way to win points with me baby blue yes I'm not in love with it today but I think it's because today is today and I think I would maybe be more in love with it about a week and a half from now, specifically, ish. So I think this one is gonna stay for the moment and we'll kind of see how we go by the end of the season. Okie dokie, I'm just fiddling with the buttons on here, but this dress is a vintage number that I picked up in Thailand. I feel like it's kind of blending in to the background on camera, but in person it's, well, it's not that different from the background. It's like a white and kind of like light pastel peach kind of stripe and even though i don't really wear a lot of like orangey peachy kind of colors there's something about that like peachy tone which is a little bit more corally i actually don't think i brought up color theory yet today which is probably a world record in a fashion video since i've done that color analysis video round of applause everyone uh great job me but i do think it's interesting because orange is like I think one of my, you know, quote unquote worst colors. Again, it's like a guideline and a tool. It was really, really helpful for me because it like firmed some things I already thought, but I understand some people like they do it and it's like not helpful for them and they don't like it. Like any other style system or, you know, a piece of advice, it's a tool. If it's helpful for you, then good, the tool's working. And if it's not working for you, then shove it back in the toolbox and like, hide it somewhere in the garage, like not important. But I feel like I was wondering why, I feel like peachy pinks work on me with makeup. What's that all about? And I think I saw something, but there was like an explanation for how coral colors, like certain corally pinks. I'm not a color expert, as you can tell. That's why <laughs> I hired someone else. But there was something about how corals work for summers. I've forgotten the explanation now, but clearly the takeaway was all I really wanted. Um, in saying that, I don't actually think this is a coral pink. I think it's kind of a peach. <laughs> and maybe it's not the most flattering color, but it's also like combined with white. So it's like really white. There's like enough pink in it that it's not like a creamy yellow, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're looking at this being like, that is a heinous color on her. And maybe it is, but um, I still really like this dress. I'm gonna go with my gut instinct. I am gonna keep this for the moment and see how I go during the warmer months where I'm more likely to wear this because it's like a cottony kind of sundress. And if I don't find myself reaching for it, then that will probably be the answer, but I think it's cute. I also think what could be influencing me is that I thought it was like such a good find and it, and it was. I can't remember exactly, this is either like 60s or 70s. So it's like true 
very cute vintage. I'm gonna marinate and sit on that, but I think I like it. But let me know if I am clouded. I've said it a few times, but doing the summery dresses is hard because I haven't worn them in like four or five months. So it's been a hot secaroonie. And here we are. We have come to the last dress in the last video of the wardrobe declutter slash trying on everything I own series. Bless up. So this dress I actually got at the start of winter at the steel warehouse sale and it's quite summery. So I haven't had the chance to wear it yet, but you know, it's in the wardrobe now. I had it in storage um, and now it's out of storage and I can wear it soon for something. I don't want to say it's like out of my comfort zone, but it's a little bit of a different vibe than what I normally go for. Like the color is a little bit more vibrant, but I also, again, color analysis. We got through the whole video without talking about it at all. And now we're just gonna talk about it a little bit, okay? As a little treat for finishing the video. And I saw this at the warehouse sale and I was like really drawn to it. And I have like an app on my phone so I can like pull up the little color chips on my phone and like hold them against the clothes. And I was like, oh, this is a bit different than I normally wear, like a bit more vibrant in terms of the stripes, but I'll try it on. And then I held up the phone color to the dress color and it was like the same green. I don't really go for that a lot. I don't think I've really ever gone for a gem green. I've done like a minty, sagey, matchy, lighter kind of green, but not one quite this vibrant. It's not even really that crazy vibrant, like it's literally mixed with white on a dress. But for me, I was like, this is a bit different. And I think it's kind of groovy and fun. And also like the silhouette of the dress is a little different, but it's fun to try new things. And I also think this will be really cute for like the festive season. And like, I feel like I could do some really cute, like hair styling vibes with this dress. Like I have my hair in a ponytail for ease of swapping in and out of clothes. But I do think like, some really nice like a voluminous blowout with like a little braidy moment or like some little bows or something something cute like that could be very fun and like summery mermaid princessy vibes perhaps i don't know <laughs> jazz hands regardless we have come to the end of the video we've come to the end of the wardrobe declutter series thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I will insert some clips just for your satisfaction so you can see what my wardrobe is looking like at the moment now that we've done this clear out. Do keep in mind I've put some of the wintery items away for storage just so it's not cluttering up my wardrobe because they are basically useless for this climate until a few months from now. Or if I went traveling somewhere cold soon, maybe. But I hope you've enjoyed hanging out in this little series. I will be updating my Depop with some things, so do keep your eyes out for that if that's something that interests you. I am going to remove one half of my undergarments, your choice as to which, and put on a big t-shirt. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!